and welcome to Romsey Park here for the RDFL Round 16 match of the round between the Romsey Redbacks and the Macedon Cats. You have myself, Tony White, and Paul Turner. Paul, how are you today, mate? Sensational, Tony. Nice, uh, beautiful day at footy, actually. It's, it's not too bad, and uh, good little setup we've got it sitting out here on the wing, and it's. Uh yeah, we're looking for a really interesting eight-point game for the Redbacks today. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a big game for both teams. Romsey, you know, they started the season well, but have been in free fall basically ever since. Um, played really well last week against Woodend, from what I'm told. A uh, week before, um, you know, played Western Rams here. Bit of an easy kill, but before that, I think it was six or seven losses in a row that they had. Um, Macedon, you know, it's a huge game for them too because their percentage is so low. They need to keep getting wins on the board because if it comes down to percentage, they're going to lose out, but in a big way. So, so you look at percentages, on Macedon are 93.12 and uh, Romsey are 132.21. So there's a good couple of games in there. But Romsey lose today. It's it for the year. They're done. Yeah, pretty much. Um, you know, you know they've, they've got some good news during the week with Justin Sherman being re-signed for next year. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the, the good news for the club is that they're going well off-field. They just need to translate that onto on-field now. And they've been... If they miss the finals this year, it's a really disappointing year for them. Because actually early in the year, they, they played some really good footy and you know, they were top three below they were playing footy, but they have dropped off big time. And there's a couple of big names playing in the twos. So um, it's good to see Justin's trying to change the culture and um, put the kids who deserve a game up into the ones and uh, those who are a little bit different go back to the twos. Yeah, one thing that Justin's implored on the club since he since he uh, was arrived in the off-season was that it's not just the senior side he's worried about, he's, he's um, in, including the whole senior club, but also the junior club as well. So we've got numerous um, under-17s played um, throughout the season here for Romsey, um, under-19s playing as well. First game of today, um, Matty Milburn. Um, his dad, Wayne, is the president of the senior club. It always you know, helps. You know, it's okay. just, you know, his dad's a, an ex-BNF winner here, um, and he's a Romsey junior, and this is exactly what Justin wants to do, is bring these kids that have played so well throughout the season, um, bring them up and give them a chance here at senior footy. So the problem with Romsey, and we'll say the same four or five players seem to be the best players every week, and when we go through, just look at last week, I only got done by a point, and, and you know, it, by all accounts, it was a ripping game of footy. You know, the Brinkhouse was Perth, or Jackie Jeb, what was seven goals last week. I mean, the same five or six players seem to be carrying an enormous workload for the club. It's time for the rest of them to step through. Yeah, and oh, look, that, that, that's very true, but the, out of the same six or seven that seem to be getting in the best pretty much every, every week, there's a mixture of the three young ones, which would be, you know, your Darcy Lockins, your Corey Pertzels, your Brinkhouse. And then you've got the older guys as well with Matty Burkett. Nathan Blair's back from injury today. We've seen him with a broken arm against Lansfield early in the season. Um, Nathan Tassari's just dominant down back as well. And then Jack Jebwob. Look, I, I know you're going to say it as soon as I, the words come out of my mouth, but I think he's the best player in this competition. Well, what am I going to say? That I'm just one-eyed Romsey. Bet with, you are. I, and there's no, there's no hiding nah, it. To me, Jack is, well, he's 51, kicked 51 goals from the season, and if he's getting held up forward, they chuck him in the midfield and he becomes the most dominant midfield on the, on the ground as well. Yeah, so, I mean, you're right. He's, he's one of the superstars of the competition. And, I mean, I still think Dylan Tarkson's the best player in the comp, if you ask me personally. But uh, um, you're right, Jack's... Jack's output is enormous, and, and he does kick a lot of goals, and the ball doesn't always come down smoothly. And um, yeah, he, for, for a player, you can throw in the midfield. He's Mr. Versatile, so super important player for Romsey. Yeah, and then across the Macedon as well, you know, Jason Cook's got a few games under the belt now. So yeah, Cook's... He, and look, he, he, we spoke to him, I think we spoke to him two or three times in pre-games throughout the season, and he's, you know, that calf lingered, then he had another injury, and he adds another dimension to their forward line because without him, they had Declan Filan, who was the makeshift forward but halfway through the season. Yeah, we've seen Declan a few times and he, he does dominate. But, you know, last week, Sal Pietro stepped up with four goals. And we've seen Central's play before. They're quite effective defence. They got going for him as well. But, um, you know, Jackie Kernan's back. You know, big yep. forward, another option for him. So they've got some options and it's not all now Jason Cook. So there are other people to... If I was coaching Romsey, I'd be looking very, very closely at... Um, um, Declan Filan, because he is the most dangerous yep. for And overhead, he's a terrific mark, and he plays high. So whoever's going to be sitting on Declan today is going to have a big work rate. And, and Declan had a very good output against Romsey early in the year as well. So, you know, that, whether or not he's going to stay forward with now that they've got their forwards back, or he goes back into the midfield slash halfback flank, it'll be interesting to see. And you look at, I mean, one out, one out today for Masson's big one is Nipper. Yep. Nipper Wright, number the captain, or I think he's still captain, um, number one. Yeah, you know, just a legend in the Masson Footy Club in the league. So to have him out today, I think he's working actually. Um, so uh, he's only got a ring there. I can get him off work, but don't tell me bosses that one. So, but Hamish Govan, who's you know 
stand up with cookies coming out. He's actually the captain's own. My mistake to everybody there. But Hamish Govan, you know, he's a superstar in the midfield. To come into this side and be given a leadership role straight away, it's how much high regard they hold him in for. And it's great to have Matty Knox is back too. So they've got the big forward come back in. He's, has, he's been out, you know, he was away from the club and finished and he's made a comeback. So it was good to see Knoxie and it's always interesting to see when the president is also the water boy. It means a multitasking, very important. And you know, look, these are the sort of people that local footy clubs they, they just they just live for because, look, it, it, we got Cookie here. He's he's the president of the club, and now he's pulled on the white shorts and the blue top for the run the run the water out. If if the local clubs don't have these volunteers, that just falls to pieces. So it's so good for these clubs to have someone like that. Um, and and you mentioned um, earlier with. Um, who, who now? Get it out. You've, lost, you've lost you've me now. You've been in Thailand for two weeks. <laughs> I'm going to cut you a bit of slack. Yeah, you lost. can't get it out. You sorry, Hamish, 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 Hamish Govan. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Again, it is his first year at the club. We have seen him. Was it the Anzac Day game? Wasn't it where he was the he was standing yeah. captain? And he's been rewarded with another three year deal as well to stay at the club. So we'll that see. just shows how highly they they do regard him and how well he's played all season. And, and it also shows the balance that the clubs are looking for because Alison Meldrum got another two. Um, Three, two or three, it might be three actually. Um, to, you know, it gives them a bit of stability at that level and, and, and lets them build. Now they've got a base to build from. And both these clubs, and particularly Macedon, you know, with the Giants coming maybe next year or the year after, is really going to um, make life a little bit difficult for the, for, the, for the Cats to try and recruit because there's another team coming out of Gisborne. Um, and look, that, that, that just, that's going to have a big impact on all these smaller country town teams because. And the big rumour at the moment. It's not so much a rumour because we were there the other week and listening to it all as uh, Kitan may be coming in or looking to come in. They beat Gisborne last week, so but they've lost their senior coach, um, which is a bit of a... Um, you know, Paul Chapman walked away and, and, and said that's enough. Um, so that was a bit of disappointment for there. And, and they're looking to come into RDFL. We know Mountain South are looking to come in. We get those two clubs in, pick up any summary. We do need a summary club into this yeah. competition. You know, it's a shame we lost the Kangaroos. Not say so they're gone forever, but maybe they will come back one day. But um, we do need a summary club in the competition. So to bring to bring these extra clubs in, it means everyone's going to lift. Yeah, Kyneton will probably be hard to beat for a couple of years. But you know, you take their out of towners out of the Kyneton football side, and the rest of them are just normal local kids. And um, yeah, uh, they're not uh, going to be a powerhouse. And forever. look, that, that's a great segue into promoting this out this afternoon slash this evening's game that we will be broadcasting as well from Woodend Heskett's Ground, um, the, the women's grand final between Kyneton women and. Macedon women. Yep. That's that's huge for both clubs. You know, Kitan a big a big in the in in the Ballarat League. Macedon to have uh, Bendigo yeah. League. Sorry, yep. um, the Macedon women have just you know they were five and thrive throughout the season. Won their first two finals and now take on the powerhouse of Kitan. That, that that's going to be a cracking game. I'm really looking forward oh, to calling that later tonight too. Women's football's been. I wasn't a critic. I was just you know I had an open mind. About a slow it, adopter. But it's, but it's been uh, it's an amazing uptake to see these teams you know come together and Romsey had a side, we've seen them play. Uh, I mean, there's a little way to go with standard, but at the moment, though, the, the enthusiasm and the numbers of girls playing footy is, is nothing but brilliant for this competition. And to see, you know, Kyneton, who, you know, are looking, and, and then we look at see um, Macedon, who is a small town, to have a t side going, and, you know, Gisborne's got so There's lots of sides around, so there's lots of girls playing footy. And... Well, It'll be a great game tonight. So I'm really Barbara looking Woodhead. forward to that. Um, you get a chance, 5.30 start? Yeah, 5.30, 5.30 for the first ball up. You'll hear my dulcet tones. And Gav. And I'm you'll out. hear Gavin's ball. Um, we got the guys from Red Onion just doing us a huge favour there. Um, we've got a... We've got a stage set up there that's been provided for, to the, to the you're league. you're going to want to know who the sponsor is. I do want to know who the sponsor is, but you can't tell me, can you? No. No. So you haven't been in Thailand. It's just my fault. No, so, no The card's in my car, which is holding no, the no, marquee up at the and moment. No, that's so. all right. We, we appreciate everything that they've done for us out there because that's going to be an amazing ground to call from. Yep. Lights on will be a great atmosphere. I'm really looking forward to that. So just, all just the finals this year are at Romsey and at Woodend. Uh, yeah. So, you know, two, two, and Woodend's ground's in magnificent condition. For those who are going to the footy, just be careful parking around it because she's a bog around the outside of the ground. But... In the, uh, the ground surface itself, when I was there this morning setting up, it looked magnificent. Yeah, and so the umpires for today's clash, we have for the field umpires, we have Alex Bond, um, our favourite Stevie J, and a new comer to the, the broadcast for us is Barden McIntyre. Boundary, a modern name, Barden. Yeah, boundary umpires, we have Spence Connolly and one of my all time favourite boundary umpires, Ryan Monaghan. He's, look, he's not, he's not Sideshow Bob, but no. he's right up there. We do yeah, love Monaghan. We're, we've only got two more home and away rounds to go, and we've promised everybody we get sideshow on. And to the league, if you're listening, and the umpires, and 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 Adam Isley, and everyone who runs the umpires, next week 
please. I oh, know we've got Wallen next week, so the week after, let's do the last round. We really want him to yeah. want to interview him and have a. Um, we have a little bit of fun with him, and he's a terrific bloke. So it's all done in with good taste, I think. Yeah. Um, and and just, just on that, I was speaking to the to the boss of the umpires here earlier before. Uh, Riddle umpires have just um, released their recruitment drive for season 2024 as well. Yeah, so we're and actually going to have a chat to him at half time. So yep. I'm sorry, I didn't bring that up to you. So we, he's going to come over and have a chat to us half time. So we only get a little tiny break for yeah. us. Um, but he wants to have a chat and, and promote it, and we'll promote everything we can for the umpires. We we give him a little bit of curry, but that's yeah. okay. Um, but yeah, they don't expect that from us. But one of their big goals for season 2024 is actually get some of the senior players within our league at the moment to um, put well, their hand up and try and co- uh, umpire the juniors yeah, on a Sunday, true. which is a great, uh, great initiative, I think. Yeah, and look, you know, back in my year, in the 80s and 90s, Brett Hickey was one of the superstars of the competition, and Brett Hickey's one of the best umpires floating around him. He's like all of us, getting a little bit long in the tooth. But to see Brett umpire a game as a footballer, it just gives a whole new perspective. He doesn't take any crap from the players. You mouth off to Brett, you'll get it back. And, and that's what we want to see. We want to be able to see, see players interact with the umpires in a good way. So, um, yeah, it's really important that uh, we promote the umpires and give them a, give them a kick. We, we can't play games without them. And, and just for anyone who's wondering, in the reserves game that was completed just before we came online, um, Romsey with the winners there, 15-11-101 to Macedon 5-9-39. So that continues a yep. very good season here for Romsey Reserves. True. And so... We've had a lot of requests for our uh, canteen review. We didn't do it last week because we've doubled back, we went back to back at Diggers, who were doing it under extremely. And we're getting to the business end of the season for canteen reviews. And and from what I from what I've heard from overseas, I hear there's a clear front runner for you. There is a clear front runner, and we're here today. The, the, so this isn't my one eye telling you this. No, this is this is yours. This is my this is an obese middle aged man saying, <laughs> Romsey are by far the premiership favourites at the moment. That canteen is top. Shelf and that every canteen has a specialities. The chips and the potato cakes from here no. are nothing short of sensational. The snitchel and coleslaw rolls are right up yeah, there as no, well. And well, that's your all shout t- to buy one today. And as, as we can all see on the table, nothing's turned up. So I know you spend all your money over in Thailand, but there's a good kill. Let's give the positives that's, of what the canteen's about big window, small queue, easy tap and goes. Three registers. No, no waiting for food. It's all there in the Bay Marie. It's nice and fresh. It's, it's a terrific canteen. Everyone has their specialties. Lansfield have their Kranskis. You know, um, Diggers have the Burrowbergs. They do it under tough conditions doing that at Caravan Mart. Riddle have the terrific. And we go, I was having a think about it the other day when people asked me to do the canteen review again. Everyone has their specialities. You know, and you can go through every canteen and everyone's got something that other brigades have. I mean, I, I still love Lansfield's Kranskis. They're brilliant. Here, the chips are magnificent. The Borough Burger is brilliant. The barbecue at Riddle's brilliant. Overall, Macedon do a really good job. Um, I'm trying to think what other clubs we've got going well, around through the see, system. I'm, I'm a little bit covered. biased being a, a junior coach myself, and I know they're not in our in our league at the moment, but the Summary Kangaroos Juniors are a phenomenal setup. They have down there, they have the barbecue where you can get the, the burger with the lot, the egg and bacon rolls, they, you no, know, they've, they've got the Kranskis as well, they've got everything there, no, run from the, two separate windows. Put and the Borough Burger up against any of them at the moment, the boys will know. Uh, look, it also goods if they know you're coming. Yeah. So we and did word them up, so we, our, our Borough Burgers, we're probably double size of everyone else, but they were sensational, right. so can, well done. If you haven't seen either of myself or Paul, we are not slim looking people. We, no, we do, we, we do, the wrong end yeah, of it. We do like our food, so yep. this is why we are very passionate about this. Oh, it's important for the canteens, and, and to every lady and everyone, and lady, I'm just being sexist there, but every, every person who works in the canteens, they do a magnificent job. We have a bit of fun with it, but full credit to the Romsey Footy Club. And we said all year this is the standard they got to, everyone's got to maintain to, and they've done a great job. So let's go back to the footy. Let's so see what we're here for. It looks like that Romsey will be kicking to the, the Bowen end of the ground, which is the left-hand side of screen. Um, you got Masson kicking to the right. So we've got um, some new faces, so let's just so, go through them very quickly. Yep, so for Romsey, you have a number 12, Matt Milburn, as we mentioned earlier. He's the son of the president of the senior club. Uh, Judd Rademacher, he's in his second game. Um, another, he's a Romsey junior. Um, I think he went across to Gisborne for a couple of seasons as well. Um, he kicked his first goal in his first game last week, so that's great for Judd. Um, Kyle Brennan's come back from being away as well, so there's a few young faces here for, for Romsey. Um, and across to, 
to Macedon. I'm not sure about the young players because they all look like they're seasoned blokes we've seen all year. All right, so with umpires holding it up in the air, we're ready to go. Kane Brinkhouse starting Kane in the right. Brinkhouse ruck. versus Big Sam. Indian up it goes. Indian taps the ball down to Govan. Govan on his right foot kicks it down into four line. It's not a great kick. Working hard and underneath the pack there, but it's cut off by the Romsey player. And he's dropped the ball. He's cold there, and Govan's going to get the free kick. Yeah, Will DePetro took on the wrong and person. And 52. Yeah. Yeah, Will DePetro un unfortunately took on the wrong person, Hamish Govan there, and then sort of just yeah. didn't appreciate the call from the umpire, Bard well, McIntyre. I'm sure if he looks at the replay tonight or tomorrow when he sees it, he was... He was, he was caught cold, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's not the ideal start for, for Will. No, I uh, Oh, Govan's just chipped it over into the oh, goal square so there. Petro. Well, there's a Joe the Goose in it with a kick. So that's the first one for Macedon. Macedon lead one goal straight to Romsey yet to score. And we've only played a minute or so in the first quarter. And that will leave Justin Sherman absolutely fuming well, that Del Pietro, uh, Sal Pietro, not Del Pietro, sorry, yeah. Sal Pietro can be sitting alone in the goal square after a 50-meter penalty. They had all the time to get back, and he was just sitting there all by himself. They're not switched on if that's the start. Yeah. So Brinkhouse, an unusual inclusion in the ruck. Normally a key defender for them, but... Uh, we did see him against Wallen um, go into the ruck and, and really played really well. He's a competitor, Kane Brinkhouse, so that's what they want in the midfield. Tap well, down, oh, tap down again. Romsey going to pick up the ball down through DePetro. One way, then the other. DePetro just puts on his boot, pops it up in the air. Won't be a mark. Bulldozing his way through back. Back to Pietro. Pietro pops it up and it's a mark in defence. Oh, it's played on and absolutely swamped to the Macedon boys. And we're going to have a ball up on the end of the cricket pitch. Romsey's end of the ground, yeah. which is actually the scoring end. If there's a bit of a breeze, it's probably going left of screen. Let's just apologise to our viewers. We've got Sal Pietro and Di Pietro yeah, today. So if we get them confused, it's not really our fault. So there'll be another repeat stoppage here with Kane Brinkhouse. This is just what I mentioned. He's just a worker. You know, follows up in the ruck and he becomes another midfielder at ground. So ball goes up. Indian wins it down. Smash forward there by, by Smedley. It's been wrapped up again. And that's Kane Brinkhouse again. Oh, he's, with, oh, he's been awarded the free kick. Kane Brinkhouse for holding the ball. You're right, he's a workhorse, isn't he? Yeah. And and that oh, it's going to be that goes on Bullis, does it? I think, so, Kane Brinkhouse, 55 out. Chips it in forward, oh, misses his target, kick. which was Sankey. So it's been marked in defensive 50 here. Ball comes to the commentary side wing. Looking for Kernan, goes over his head. Picked up by Braden Smiley. Gets the handball off. Looking for Brennan. Kyle Brennan picks the ball up, gets another handball off, misses his target. Smiley follows up. His handball's partially intercepted. It's, it's in dispute. Khalil picks the ball up on centre wing. Govins on the bottom of the pack. Ball is just bouncing around here. Comes out to a little bit of space. Oh, Big hit. contest there between Jax Kinnear. Kernan. Oh, Phil gets the ball forward. It's in dispute again. Dylan Johnson's in there. Raymond's in there, comes out by Fyler on that left boot, sends it forward looking for Sal Pietro. Worked underneath it there by Newnham. Ball is in, in, in contested at the back. Handball's over to Dean Walsh, who's in a little bit of space, just needs to pick the ball up. Off he goes. Kicks it out onto the wing, looking down there for Jebwab. Ball goes over the back, and it's a poor kick into their forward line. Looking down for Darcy Lockins. Lockins is out free on his right foot, turns around the corner, and the ball's touched on the on deep in defence. And there's a throw in, a, a kick in. We haven't got a 42. We got one on the list there? No. No, we've got another mystery player in the league. We get them every week. They're very popular. There's always one. Yeah, every week we get a mystery. Cats with the ball. On his left, kicks it out long. We'll call him Mr. the mystery man. And a mark's taken deep in defence. Looking down the ground, not a lot going there. Cookie's making the lead, and that's where it's going. Jason Cook, but he's blocked off the ball, and that's a good mark in there by Jackson Kinnear. So Kinnear has it on the outer side centre wing. Ooh, he's off it's been called to play out. on. He does, he plays on, kicks it out wide, and finds Khalil. Yep. Khalil goes inside that way with the dancing feet, gets himself into trouble, handballs to the ground, misses Kinnear. He uh, comes back to it, jumps back in, in the contest. Masson have got numbers over there. Ball's just bouncing around. Picked up by Cook. Slammed on the boot. Goes straight up and down. Braden Smiley's underneath the versus Filan. No one touches the ball. Filan gets it in front. Oh, that's a free Has, kick. Oh, no, it's been called to come back to Braden Smiley. So Braden Smiley on the outer wing. We'll have the ball. Looks inside. Has Nathan Tassari in all sorts of space. Takes the mark in the middle of the ground. Continues to go out further wide, but it's oh, a poor kick. That's twice that, they've done this. Knox has run out here by himself. Matty so, Knox just come on the ground, the old fella. Shouldn't call him that, but he is. Knox on his right, kicking down, looking for a marking contest. Hits a Dex. Big 
Big Jack Kearney just couldn't pull that one in and the ball's going to be thrown in front of the Massillon coach's box. I can't see from there, mate. You're going to have to take it from that point. So Alistair Meldrum barking instructions. Umpire Monaghan comes in. Big throw. Romsey is Kane Brinkhouse versus Indian. It was a free kick here. Yeah, yeah, he was called. He didn't nominate for the ruck. So Sam Indian has the free kick. Chips it up, oh, smothered on the mark by Brinkhouse. Cook can't pick it up, need to bend over a bit further. Picked up by Raymond. Handball at the back to Di Pietro. It's a loopy looking handball from Di Pietro towards Walsh. Doesn't hit the target, but he follows it up. Sends it on the boot. Blair, Nath Blair takes the mark in his first game back to centre wing. Sends it out wide looking for Jeb Wobb. No, takes the mark right entrance. on 50. Jack Jeb Wobb slides around. Sends it in towards Darcy Lockers who takes it on the chest. Yep. Now this is their first set shot for goal for the quarter. Darcy, you need to kick this. Yeah, that was a coast-to-coast -coast transition there by Rumsey. Yeah. Very good football with all the skills. Nathan yeah. Blair, that was an attacking kick there in the middle. Had to take the mark and did. So Lockins here is on a tight angle right in front of the scoreboard. Make the distance easy. He's probably only 30 metres out, but a very tight angle. And he's a known goal kicker. One we trained at Gisborne too. Don't want to rub that into you. You didn't train him, mate. We get in he comes. Lockin sends on his way, he's got across the face, Blair flies, Jebob flies, but it's a point. So that's two points to Romsey at the six minute mark, trailing Masson in one straight six. And Jacob Goff's going to bring it in for the Cats, if the ball ever comes back out of the car park. Nice of the lady to hand it play, very, very nice, must be a Masson supporter, wasn't thrown at the head. Goff plays on. Kicks it down on the flank. Looking down here now for Webb. Ball hits the deck. The umpire's picked a free kick out. He's quick with a whistle today. Uh, Dylan to Johnson run. went very, very early. Ball's out to DePetro. Oh, no. Yep, pings it up in the middle of the ground. Jeb Bob goes up. Ball hits the deck. And the Cats are going to run it out of defence. Looking down the middle of the ground. But Ali Khalil's in there by himself. No one's near him. And the ball hits the deck. But he's tapped it forward. Out with numbers of Smedley. Pushing it along the ground, trying to get it up. Comes out down, down to Declan Filand. One way, then the other. On his left foot, which obviously is not his natural, but it's a good hit out to Matty Knox. Knox brings the ball in the middle of the ground. Looking for a marking contest. Ball hits the deck. And the Cats with numbers. Kernan just pops it up high. Look, to really no one's advantage. Ball hits the deck, and it's a sprint. And it's got the numbers out there through the through Romsey. Comes out, out, hand into Wilson. Wilson takes off in the middle of the ground. Short little kick, looking for Brinkhouse. Brinkhouse on his left foot into the middle ground. This is better play out to out to uh, Blair. Blair. Blair, we haven't got him on the list. Blair into the middle of the ground. Go out to Jeb Wobb. Ball hits the deck. Fighting really hard for it out in the flat, in the pocket. Good centering kick, but it's gone to Jacob Goff. Goff plays on. So Looking Goff, in the middle of the ground. Oh, sorry, down yep. to Toby Sims, and I'll give it to you now. So Sims comes wider out again. Misses, misses Hoyne, but able to go plenty of time together. Sends it down line for Moore. And Moore that ball kick does get the target, but he picks it up. Gets around Sankey. Sends it inside 50, looking for Kernan. Goes over his head. Well defended there by Kinnear. Ball goes out further wide again. Down the throat to Pertzel. Pertzel centre half back. Sends it into the middle of the ground, looking for DiPietro. He's had a big start to the game. He sends it for, forward further, looking for Jed Wobb. Ball doesn't make it in time. Able to get around his opponent in grey. Handball's ball goes back inside. Comes back to Jed Wobb. Goes further inside to Raymond on his left boot. Goal. Nathan Raymond kicks a goal. Probably been their best, their sec best or second best player this season, Nathan Raymond, for an old fella. <laughs> I can call him that because I know him well. You live in the town, mate. You've got to deal with him. So that's their first goal. So Romsey really needed that because they have been on top. So there's so a couple of glaring little things going wrong here for Romsey at the moment. Jeb Bob's leading to pockets and there's big holes in the middle. He's got to start coming up in the middle and send it, then straighten his team up a bit. They're going to rely on kicking goals out of pockets like that. It's going to be a long day in the office for them. Yeah, and they really, really need to just... Their, their finishing kicks are just not hitting their targets and making it themselves a lot harder when, they, when their forwards have got space. Yep. So they really need but to work both, on that. Both yep. sides. Yep. I mean, Masson have gone in with opportunity too and they've been smothered off the mark or whatever it might be. Uh, so here's one of our favourite ruckmen back in, Geordie Dyer. Just an absolute workhorse. So Geordie Dyer's come into the ruck here for Sam Indian. Go against Cambridge House and Darcy lockin has gone into the midfield for Romsey. So the ball goes up. One down by Dyer, goes back to Morham, who runs through the contest, gets tackled. Manages to get the handball back out towards Hoyne. They overrun it. Off the ground, Von Burkett sends it towards Blair. Blair handballs out to Brinkhouse on his left boot. Sends it long, but it's off target. And it's another hit, another missed opportunity there. But so, was, that was a good build-up for him, and yeah. that's what they need to do. So that'd be 1-3-9, Romsey leading Macedon, one straight.
Cats bring it in, looking out wide. It's not a great kick, though. Good numbers off by hand. Down there to Kinney, uh, to, sorry, Gray. Brings it back into the middle of the ground. Looking down for Hoyne. Boys on a great kick. Hit the deck and it's been well, well done by DePetro. Picks it up. It's a poor kick, though. And this seems to be a bit of the standard. It's not great skills here at the moment. Big long kick by Hoyne. Looking down there for a marking contest. And that's Matty Knox. He's just a bit too strong at the moment in those one-on-ones. They're going to have to get the second player to go up against him because it's going to be a tough day in the office. They're going to go one-on-one -on -one with Matty Knox. Yeah, we, we mentioned um, Kyle Brennan in the broadcast earlier. He's a young player. Just nowhere near as physically developed as Matty Knox there. Oh, so Knox has been he's played a lot of Bendigo football and high-level footy, so he's, he's a really good player. But it's really important that Matty Knox gets this. In he comes. Generally a reliable kick without trying to moz him. And, and you mozzed him. I've mozzed, of course I have. Didn't make the distance from 40 out. No, we're going to get a throw-in right on the point post. Probably they do need to take, but it is against the wind, so you know, they are dropping a bit short there, so it's probably two goals heading to left of screen. So umpire Monaghan will throw it in right next to the behind post for Macedon. Tassari at the back, taps it down, goes to Lockins. Jeb's on the outside of the boot, just straight up and down. Blair versus two, and it's well marked there by Bags. By Sims, sorry. So Toby Sims has it, looking for inside 50. Sends it on the off the inside of the boot. Don't think it was meant to go there. And at the back was Kinney who takes it away. Lockins struggles, picks the ball up. Finally controls it, sends it to the outer pocket. Looking for Khalil with those little legs that kids keep on pumping. Off he goes, takes one bounce. Looks forward, sends it down long. Looking for and finding Di Pietro, who just keeps getting the footy this quarter. Sends it long. That's a worm burner to Nathan Blair, who had no chance of picking that up. Turned over at half back. In come Macedon through the middle of the ground, but it's a dangerous kick. Got numbers. Lock, Lockins overlooked. Handball comes through Rademacher. Rademacher got, follows it up again. Morham intercepts. Blair with a huge tackle on Morham. Big tackle at centre half forward from the captain, Nathan Blair. And Blair, look, Blair's, you can see Blair's importance of this football side already. Just those little ones. And a guy coming out from broken arm to put himself in like that. Terrific. Yeah, Nathan Blair he knows one way, unfortunately, for his body, and that's just to go hard. Up it goes. Ball hits the deck. Here it comes. Working hard. Down there is Rademacher. One way, then the other picks it up. This is Wilson. Takes off to Lockins. Lockins looking for a short one, but it's another poor entry into the forward half. Great tackle on his bar. High tackle, actually. And it's going to be a massive and free kick. Oh, be careful. You don't give it away. That was a good sign for Romsey there. It was Rad Blake. Rademacher into Wilson, into Lockins. Yep. So that's their young core coming forward. So Blake spinning around the long sleeves, kicking out looking for Hoyne. Hoyne takes the mark. That was a bit too easy getting out of defence. Kicking down, looking down here now for Johnson. And the ball's going to go out of bounds on a poor kick. And it's going to be a free kick to Rademacher for the for Romsey. Hang on, now, and 50. Hey, what are you, oh, I didn't see that. And I think it was he because it wasn't the, returned properly. Uh, he took too long to give it back to him. He was told multiple times. And yeah. yeah. Ooh, we, we, quick we, whistles. We, but we've watched Macedon a few times this year. Dylan Johnson does a lot of good things. But he does a lot of silly things as well. And that's just another thing. All he had to do was give the ball back. Yeah. Held on until he went back to his mark. So young J Judd Rademacher, 17 years old. First game? Uh, I think it's his third. Third? Yeah. Maybe first goal. We'll find out. Yeah. They all come running up to no, him. No, he kicked, the kicked his first last week when I was in Thailand. I got the messages. Don't worry about that. Oh, you don't miss anything. So in comes Rademacher. Swings on the left oh. boot. That's a bad, bad kick. That's all missed right. everything. Straight back to defence for you, Mr. Rademacher. That was not a great kick. Cats play on. Straight across goal. Off by hand out to Goff. Goff takes off, kicks long. Looking down there for Hay. And young Hay, ball goes out of bounds. Speaking to his grandfather just before, and uh, he's been on school snow camp, and he's got under-17 finals tomorrow, so he'll be a very tired boy tomorrow night. I'm sure that his parents would love the, the tired 17-year-old who's played two <laughs> games and been to the snow <laughs> all week. Yes. Indian taps it down, working hard in the bottom of the contest and pulled off the contest there was Cook. And they're just, uh, this is a real good contest around the moment. There's been a pretty kick picked out and it's going to Macedon. And I think it's going Johnston. to Johnston. And who gave it away before. So he does owe the club. Brings it in the middle of the ground looking down for Goff. Hands off. Morham. Across the ground. They've got an opportunity. There's another loose player in Smedley. And you should get it to him here. And Smedley takes the mark. And right in front of the Rumsey coach's box. Plays on one way, then another, then short, and that's not a great kick. And it's a turned over down into Sankey. Ball hits the deck, pops out. Smedley again, making up for his poor kick. 
out there for Fyland who ball hits it. He's tried to claim the mark, but unfortunately that's not it. And you stood up and took him on and you're gone. Yeah, unfortunately there, Nathan Blair gathered the ball and tried to handball the team while she was running off injured and just didn't pay attention to the ball. here with the ball comes across into the middle of the ground. So Nathan, uh, Matt, Matt Burkett, Burkett has it now. Yeah. Sends it further wide looking forward, but misses. Sam Wilson overruns it. Is the Haas, comes back to Wilson, sends it further out wide, but it's a bad kick and it's turned over. Down comes the outer wing, comes Macedon on the quick turnover, looking for Knox. Oh, ball, bad bounce for him, goes towards Brennan. Get back, Judd Rademacher picks it up, works his way through. Good work, young man, on that left foot. Goes further wide again and great hit, centre wing. That is Sam Wilson, no, that's Will DePetro again. Comes further in board, finds Kinnear in the middle of the ground. Jack's Kinnear, assesses the options. Oh, it's a risky kick, but it goes to Burkett, comes off. Sends it high inside 50. Jed Wobbs looking for jump. Doesn't make, doesn't make it the distance. Comes down and is taken out wide there by Gray, who's almost closed down, but gets a long kick on that. It made is. great connection down towards Hoyne. Hoyne. So Hoyne's got the ball in centre wing, and we're going to have a throw in right in front of the red back sign. That was great connection of the ball there from Gray. They went a long, long way. Both sides actually moving the ball quite well. I mean, it's a really even contest we've got going at the yeah. moment. It's a free-flowing game. There's not a, there is when the contest comes down, it's hard, but it's not a clo it's not a closed-up game like we're no. used to. Umpires will throw it in. Indian up against Mazaret. Is I got that right? Massad. 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 I'll get it the right into the day. That's how we're, we've been told. told that's how it's said. So that's how we, how we hope it is correct. Ball's kicked up along the ground. Picked up down there by Raymond. Raymond. Pops it long looking for Jed Wobb. And he's right on the boundary line in front of all the Romsey. I think it must be the under-18s uh, over uh, there. Yeah. And a couple of quiet ones. That's their, that's their sacred spot has been yeah. ever since I come to this town. You park in that spot, you're yeah. in for trouble. So Jed Wobb. And he went, look, a true forward would have a shot. And that's what he's going to do. And he's looks so easy. He's leading goal kicker. From the outside of the boot, goes he's, straight across the goals. Yeah, he's kicked the wrong side no of the footy Ball's there. punched down the front and it's going to be forced through from behind. And that takes Romsey to one goal, 4-10. Leading Macedon one straight. We've played nearly 17 minutes into the first quarter. Yeah, he's completely kicked the wrong side of the footy there, yeah. Jack. And I'll, be, I'll say this because it's a bit of a, you know, a couple of goal win. They'd be a little bit disappointed with the outcome. They should be about three goals here and ahead. Macedon with the ball out to Hay. Hay hands off. In the middle of the ground, over the top of the everybody. Rademacher in Brooke. the centre of the ground. Wheels around that left. Hits Dusty Lockins all alone. So that's the quick turnover. That's what happens. Lockins got to turn around. He does. Fires off quickly looking for Raymond in the pocket. And finds him out the back. Nath Raymond. And the only goal kicker of the, games, of the game so far for Romsey. Looking to make his second. They need this one. And look, he's a very, very talented footballer, this man. Um, hard as a rock. At his age, probably should be letting some of the other guys do the hard work. But he just he doesn't know how to say no. So in he comes. Very deliberate approach. Sends it on the way. Umpire, Umpire shuffles a, across a little bit, but Nath Raymond's second goal. And like like you said before, Romsey really need to get at least a three-goal lead. A, they've had the play, yep. but B, they've got this, this slight win that's here. It's not a huge win, but when it does come through, it is blowing in their direction, so they need to make the most of it. So we played 18 minutes. Romsey leading 2-4-16 to Masson and one straight. And it won't be a long quarter, so about three minutes to go. And we'll uh, just about be a quarter time, I'd say. Big Sam Indian up against Brinkhouse. It's a con and Brinkhouse is all taped up, so he's already got a war wound. And that's, un that's, un name, that's unlike a Brinkhouse. I was going to say, <laughs> knowing a Brinkhouse, that's just a Band-Aid. Up it goes. Brinkhouse wins a tap down, down to Govan, and it's going to be a good tackle. We're going to ball it up again in the middle of the ground. And that, that just shows him again, just tap out straight down into a, into a tackle. Up we go again. Indian taps it out the back, looking down there for Govan, and once again, we're just going to get a ball up, back in the middle of the ground. And I dare say the next one will be a free kick out of here if the umpires do their normal tricks. Up it goes again. Indian just punches it forward. There's an opportunity. Hoyne was grabbed when he didn't have the ball. Pops it out with a hand smedley on his hands and knees, trying to push it forward. Ali Khalil is in the bottom of the pack, and the umpire's going to come in, and we're going to ball it up again. Yeah, you see the very open forward line that Macedon has here. They're all very lined up open. in a line. So you can shoot a gun and hit no one. Up it goes again. Indian taps it down. Opportunity out there for Blair, for Romsey. And it's well tackled. We're going to have another one. He's, uh, the pressure's good here at the moment. They're giving him absolutely no room to work. You love calling repeat stoppages, don't I you? I get it every game. 
One more time and then I'll quit after that one. Indian taps it down. Govan on his boot. Pops it forward. Looking down there for Cook. Cook's in front one way or the other. The ball's punched forward. Rums got the numbers and they're going to clear it out by hand. Out looking out for Brinkhouse. Takes off. Pops it out. Handball out in the middle of the ground. Out to Blair. Here it comes. An opportunity down here for DePetro who's been absolutely knocked up. Getting the footy. Kicking along looking for Lockins. And his umpire's going to pick a free kick out here and it's going to go down to the Cats. Yeah, he was caught behind there, Lockins, and just grabbed his opponent. Bullis kicks it out wide. Short kick in, how straight over the head of um, Goff, and the ball's going to go out of bounds. We're going to throw it in right near the scoreboard. So we played, we've just gone 20 minutes now, so there must only be one or two minutes of, of extra time, I would have thought. Hasn't been a huge no. stoppage game. So it'll be thrown in just to the right of the scoreboard. Govan in the ruck versus Brink has to be the first time Brink has had the height advantage here. What can he do? He takes front position. Govan wins it down at the back, though. Comes out to Wilson. He's gone holding the yeah, ball. Yeah, he's been there. caught holding the ball there by Brody Hoyne. Hoyne just, every time we see him play, he just gets more and more impressive. He's a tough Co little nut. Comes out wide, sends it further down and finds Cook just to the attacking side of centre wing. Handballs out to Moreham, who sends it on the left foot with a really rank looking kick towards Kernan. I would say Has he's not a left footer. <laughs> plenty of time, but he's handball with Sarka, go back and gets up, he's, cleans up his own mess. Intercepted there by Kinnear. Handball comes inside to DiPietro, who's dis dispossessed. Out via Brinkhouse. Out to Wilson, who sends it long and finds Nate Blair on the right half-forward flank. Comes in board with a short kick and finds Nate Raymond again. Too far out, mate. Nate Raymond assesses his options. Well, he's going to have a shot. Yeah. Had Pertzell running the open space, didn't go for it. And to, to be really successful quarter for him, this quarter, they actually need to get this. So, you know, to be, to be this far up... Here comes the wind, as we all can tell. Our little hut's about to blow away. So this, might, this might help Raymond with the right. kick here. So in he comes, sends it on his way, gets high, lets the wind do some work. And he's got it. Nathan Raymond has gone bang. Three. Three for the quarter. We'd well, say him and DePetro have um, kept a minute this quarter and, and probably Brinkhouse in the ruck as well. Yeah, that's why I've, I've already marked out here in my best DePetro, Raymond, Brinkhouse, but I think I'm going to have to switch Raymond to best on for so far with three goals. So but We'll just let everybody yeah. know you are incredibly one-eyed. No, no, I've everything got... Everything roms if, if anyone can see on my on my board here, I have him split into teams. I can see on your board then you've only got the Romsey no, team. You've actually come on crushed now. Macedon out. Cam from Red Onion, he knows he's just talking absolute rubbish, isn't he, Cam? No. Yeah, as Cam's, he nods away, see? Cam knows he pays his checks too, Cam. So in comes Brinkhouse in the ruck against Jordan Dyer again. Brinkhouse taps it down to the back, looking for Blair, who's been pushed over, goes forward. Declan. And Declan Filan picks up on the... Oh, no, he's uh, spilt it again there at the untimely moment. Goes back towards Hoyne. Hoyne just goes again. He jams it forward. Picked up by Morham, sends it forward, looks for Dylan Johnston in the pocket, left foot, jams it forward. Oh. Tassari drops an absolute sitter there. Comes forward again to Knox. Jax Kinnear gets intercepts, luckily for Romsey there, but he lets the ball get out. Ball is in dispute. Morham picks up, he's wrapped up immediately by Kyle Brennan, and it'll be a ball up straight in front, about 30 yeah. out from Masson's goal. The Knox will be going up, and what he should do is try and grab it out of the ruck and have a, have a snap. Up it goes. Brinkhouse pushes him out of the way. Knox just taps it over the back. And the Brobsey boys should just dive on this and try and hold it up, but it's going to be kicked out by DePetro, who's had a lot of the footy today. Quickly kick back into the forward line. There's a marking option down there. Plays on quickly, and that's um, Toby Sims. Kicks long and high and wide, and there's a point for the Cats. Yeah, Callum Sankey, very lucky there. Overcommitted for the spoil, and then Sims was able to play on quickly. Yep. Well, they bought, Robbie's bought the ball oh, quickly in and talking. turned it over. Bad, bad and, decision there. And of all the players you don't want to have the footy in as an accurate shot yeah. goal was Jason Cook. Yeah, so that was Jax Kinnear. I don't know what he was thinking there with the quick play no, on. No, they just had to hold it up. I mean, yeah. the siren's about to go. We played 23 and a half minutes into the first quarter. Was looking for Jedwab, but it was just a rank kick. And you would Jason Cook, right <laughs> he's, on he's done this a thousand times, I reckon, in his life so far. Well, he's won a few league goal kickings. And, we, and best and fairest. And Bowen medals, etc. And Oh, we've mozzed him. I, I knew he was going to miss, and you said he was going to get it, so I was right as usual. So Romsey had been let off the hook there, know, and someone is rule. coming off on a blood rule, and it is Cookie. He cannot take a trick this season, can he? No, the calf is it, and then the old man's injury, and Cookie's not getting any younger. He's still looking fitter than I ever did, though, so he can still kick a ball better than I could ever kick uh, one. So. We'll wait to see when he turns into his 40s and 50s how he looks. How old do you think I am? 50? Oh, my God. I know Romsey life's hard, but it's not that hard. What number are you? 36. Jeez, it's been a tough 36. <laughs> You've met my wife then, haven't you? <laughs> so in comes Khalil from <laughs> Romsey. Plays on. Look out the back for... Is that Blair? Yeah. No, no. It's, no, it's Kinnear. 
Kinnear plays on. Or Newnham, sorry. Newnham plays on. Ball's turned over. And Macedon, this ball is spoiled out of bounds. Left forward flank here for Macedon. So there cannot be long to go. We, we thought it was going to be an early quarter, but it's been 25 minutes, so... How long? There it goes. There quarter is time. the siren. Quarter time. Romsey leading 3-4-22 to Macedon. 1-2-8. So we'll just quickly run through the goal kickers here. First goal kicker of the, of the day was Daniel Salpietro with the beautiful Joe the Goose uh, for Macedon. And for their best players, I've got Goff, Hoyne, and I'll... I tossed up here and there, but I ended up going with uh, Morham. I was thinking Indian was very good in the ruck, but I've gone with Morham there. And then for Romsey, the goal kickers, all three to Nathan Raymond. Obviously, he goes to the best, followed by Di Pietro, who would have had 10, 12 dis disposals that quarter, I would have thought. And I thought Brinkhouse work in the ruck, followed around the ground, was just amazing. Um, what do you think of that, Paul? Oh, look, I think... With the wind they had, that's, it's, the quarter's broken out pretty even, I would say. I mean, both sides had their opportunities going in forwards, but some poor four forward entries killed them. I mean, when the, the ball, when it all settled down, Romsey did look a better side, but they had, got a, they had a couple of goal wind, and, and it is starting to pick up a little bit now to the left of screen. So, yeah, you know, 3 4 22 to one two eight, seven scoring shots to, to three. That's probably fair when you've got a, a breeze like this going down that end. We'll know more at half time where, you know, it's a pretty even contest. It really is. No one stood out. So it's, it's tough. Players are, are committing themselves pretty well. The skills aren't that high, but the pressure's high, so we would expect that. So, yeah, you know, overall, good quarter of footy. And look, Macedon, we've watched them quite a few times this year, and I've always been super impressed with Nathan Bridgeland, yeah. who probably hasn't really been involved this game yet so no. far. So, if he can lift, he's going to cause a lot of problem on that one the, on the outer wing as well. So. so, if you have a think about it, if you think about the Romsey, if you're Justin, what are you going to do to straighten this side up? Because they're not straight at the moment. They're going wide, and they're going too wide. So, all their shots have come. I mean, Raymond's shots have, have been wide. Nothing's come up through the middle of the corridor yet. So, they're using their pockets, but that's a, that's a recipe for disaster at this level of footy. They've got the best forward in the competition. Just create the corridor for him. He'll get them, but you've got to get you know, a little bit better disposal. Yeah, well, and, eyes a bit. and a lot of that also relies on how the the play is up the field. Like, Romsey have been playing on unnecessarily at times, I thought. Like, I know, yeah, I know they, it's they, great looking coast to coast when you go bang, bang, no, bang, 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 and it works. Need but to, they're not going coast to coast, bang, 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 bang. There's a reason why they're putting the speed on, because the speed is to try and isolate Jeb Bob. Yeah. And that's because but you, 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 can you still, slow it up and the numbers get you back. You can still isolate and go back over your mark and play on, and kick quickly, but they're, they're turning blindly and they're turning out to their right-hand yeah. side, which is sending Jack out to the right-hand pocket, so which is the wrong pocket for Jack being a right-footer. No, and, and but Jack's got to be smart and call yeah. himself up in the middle of the ground. Just just keep the leading pattern up in the yeah. middle. So yeah. your, your foot, don't the, pick the it up. The old-fashioned J lead or hook lead, yeah. whatever you want to call it, you lead up and hook back around. Absolutely. And, 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 and he's a very, very the, smart foot, footballer, so he can do these yeah. sorts of things. So we shoot over to the right of screen with, to the Cats and, and what's going wrong there? Well, not a lot's going wrong. They're just not that clean coming in forward. Cookie's playing high and he's playing very, very high. They've got to get someone around Manny Knox's feet because as soon as the ball hits the deck, Knoxie's out. Because yeah, he's too old. No, sorry, Knoxie, you're too old and too slow, but you're still very good overhead. So young Sal Pietro and all that, who actually came off with a bit of a shoulder injury, I think, um, during that first quarter, they've got to start getting around Knoxie's feet because that's where if, if you keep aiming for Knoxie and the ball hits the deck, eventually you're going to start feeding out, and, and, and that's what they need to do. And we did mention uh, in that first quarter that the lineup of the Mass and Forwards was in a straight eye pattern straight down the 50 so it gave their forwards multiple directions to run in yeah. so that they've w opened the opened so, the 50 the for that to happen but you go through the mass and the forward line you've got Jason Cook Matty Knox Jack Kernan and then you throw in um, Sal Pietro Sal Pietro as I said I think you go, and Declan Fine that's a that's a pretty potent forward line but they're all pretty good up overhead you need we need to get it small down there so you'd be looking really closely for a you know, Govan, who gets the ball, has got to push forward and be a crumbing and, and, option. And, and you mentioned that start nipper right would be the perfect... Well, nipper's, that's nipper's it, role. That, that's and, the perfect that's what day for today. him. So, But, the, you know, this is something that both teams have to work on. Justin will be over there. He'll be telling Romsey everything they've done wrong and right. And, and Alistair Meldrum will be doing the exact same thing here for Macedon. Yep. But the problem is now they've got to put it out on the, on the ground. And either, either team, we mentioned that it wasn't a high-pressure game, but that wasn't... A, a boxed in, it's all in a, in a phone box sort of game. When the when the ball was out, the players were getting tackled and tackled hard. But there is plenty of space out there to utilise if these skills can get right. But it's not like a normal Romsey game where you see Hoy and them normally you know, dominating the rucks of their height. 
Today it's even. I mean, we, we, I know Brinkhouse is doing an incredible job for, for rucking for Romsey at the moment. Um, and but Sammy, you know, it's just the ball. No one's doing. No one's. No one's cleared. You haven't, we haven't seen a clear. Um, just you know, Whoa. anyone clearly get out of the middle of the ground. It's just been a pre and, and it's going to be a pressure game. The both sides are really evenly matched. Them. They're fifth and sixth on the ladder for a reason. They're only a game apart from each other. Um, they're incredibly evenly matched, and I think all day we're just at the type of football we're going to see. And it's going to be it's going to be a good game. But we'll know more at half time. We'll sit so if Masson go bang bang bang. This Romsey's, you know, both sides are giving a 50 way. The one that um, the one that Romsey gave away early in the game was a bit of a kick in the bum for him, and that that wasn't needed to be done. But um, we'll be interested to see. So Cookie's going deep this time. They've got the wind out there with Noxie. Dylan Johnson's heading down forward with Jack Kern. So that's a, you know, if you look at Smedley and, and you put in um, Declan Final, that's quite a potent mid sized forward line. Yeah, yeah and, and look, Justin's kept Romsey in for a very long time, so there's obviously a yeah. lot of discussion he's got to give them. Oh, they've to got to straighten up. They're just going too wide. And look, they're, they're starting midfield here. They've got Hoyne, who I think every time we... I think the first time I seen him play, I thought he was a you know, a small yeah. forward, with maybe a high half forward. But every time I see him, he just gets more and more impressive. So this is going to make me sound old. I played footy with his dad. His dad played exactly the same way. Just a, 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 a ball magnet midfielder. Yeah. And there was nothing spectacular about the way... He got it, and Horney plays the same way here. He he just gets the ball, and, and he's always strolling across the across the ground and giving options. So, yeah, um, you, know, you look at the, the ruck contest with Sam in. in. Govan's Govan's been really good, but without being dominant. Yeah. I mean, he can be dominant, so they're going to have to yeah, keep an eye. You on really him could, Romsey. This is this is me as a Romsey local and a supporter. No, I, I couldn't. Really? I couldn't say that either midfield is on top. No, not at the moment. It's a very fair midfield. As in on ballers and the ruck contest, no one's dominating. No one's getting the drive from their midfield. It's just an all over the ground section. I think Romsey's defence is on top, yep. and that's what's repelled the the Macedon uh, forays forward. And look, Nathan Blair, he's one of the best midfielders in the comp as well. Oh, if, if he's stuck forward, his his arms, yep. like his arms were good, but he's obviously not fit enough to play in the midfield yet. So that's a that's a very big luxury for Romsey to have. So Nathan Raymond is obviously the one that Macedon are going to have to sit and watch now. Yep. You can't have a midfielder kick three goals in a quarter. That's but, got to stop. Yeah, very, very, very smart footballer. Been around a long time. Played lots of different leagues. Lots of good football. And it just goes to show. So we're looking for a 6-6-6 six, six, six here. And they're trying to ping one off. No, they're all going I think position. we just, as a, as the most local footy grounds, we yeah. just wait for that last quarter to just... So India versus way off. Brinkhouse. Up it goes. No one's event. Brinkhouse taps it forward. Dives on top of it. Is Govan. They're all just piling on top of him. This is a bit of a, a, bit of a trend. In the middle of the ground so far. Look, this I've just just seen here. You're Corey right, Pertzel no has top. gone to Hamish Govan. This is going to be a huge learning game for Corey Pertzel because Govan the Indian taps the it ball down the middle of the ground. Opportunity for Raymond jumped over the top there. Can't comes the Redbacks shepherded it off down there by De Petro. Out is Ali Khalil is over the top of it, and they're going to come ball it up again right in the middle of the ground. We say a lot of good things about Ali Khalil, but I don't know if he's that keen on the contact there because he had oh, plenty of time he had the shepherd put on and for DePetro and just didn't take the ball on so Indian Brinkhouse taps. comes down ball comes down towards Raymond who picks it up he's wrapped up immediately by Govan I would have thought that was holding the ball but the umpires let it go comes out via Milburn keeps it there for his first touch they send it forward looking for Lockins who made some space but leaves the ball behind great lays a great tackle there though on Nathan Bridgeland yeah Umpire's got a ball up. Yeah, ball up. That's two young guns in this competition, Lockins and Bridgeland there. Oh, we've got some terrific young players in this competition. So it'll be Sam Indian versus Brinkhouse again. Left half-forward flank for Romsey. Ball goes up. Sam Indian wins that ball down. But it's out to no one in, in, in particular. Ball comes out via hands to Morham. Spins around and around no one. Comes out via Bridgeland. There he is. Mentioned him in the quarter time. Sends it forward to Cook. Cook, strong hands, sent our oh, forward. No, Gives the handball off and miss, and miss Johnston. Thought he could have got a free kick for two. But there goes Hoyne again. Come from nowhere. Out to Johnston. Sends the handball back out to Bridgeland. Bridgeland. Little chip forward, misses the target and picked up by Braden Smiley. He drops the ball, though, in front of him. Out towards Nath Blair, who now has some space and some time. Sends the ball back in boards with a great kick and great hands there by Zach Massad. Massad, chip out wide, looking out for Blair again. Off by hand. And they're going to try and run the ball up near Here's the uh, Romsey. Good hit forward. Off they go down in through Sankey. Kicks the ball along, looking for Jedwab. Ball hits the deck. Pushes in front of him. There's an opportunity now for a goal. Raymond's and fourth. Raymond, that's four goals. He's kicked a lot of them for him. That's a midfielder with four goals and halfway, well, not even that, five minutes into the first, th second quarter. So, gee, Cats, you're going to have to tighten up on this kid. Yeah, look, that was 
kid. Jeez, he hasn't been called kid for a long no, time. No, they're all kids to me, man. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, that was great play here from the back line here from Romsey. They worked down the wing. Blair's across the body kick inside was awesome. Yep. And it kept going out. Follow, and then Callum Sankey with the give and go, run again. The kick to, to the Jedwell was probably the right kick. Yep. Great defence there from Will Gray. I thought he'd done a great job. So Unfortunately, ran out of the back by himself. Poor old Zach Bag's getting his pants pulled down at the moment, and he, and he needs to really tighten up this. So up it goes. Indian taps it two hands forward. Hoynes on front, takes off, hands balls out down. Here looking for Sims. Sims hands over back to Hoyne. One way they had a quick handball off. And we had a crack at Bags before, and Bags takes off on his left. Played advantage, and his marks taken on the boundary line. Right on the line. Smedley kicks on. It's a terrible looking kick, but the mark's been taken down there by Declan Fyland. And here's an opportunity, and he needs to go back and kick this. It was untidy, but it was effective. As they say, mate, you're not drawing pictures. No. Just writing numbers on a scoreboard. That's and, all they're doing. And he is a good goal kicker. We've seen him kick multiple bags of goals, this kid. Left footer. Wrong side for a left footer, but we're pretty confident he can get it because um, my counterpart here has put some money on him in the background here. Two through. It's a, not a great, confident-looking entrance. Up high. So it's a beautiful goes, kick, though. And has hit the post. Oh, that had a great-looking curve to it, then. <laughs> Khalil with the ball. That takes it's the score to 4 4 28. Romsey leading Masson and 1 3 9. Short kick kicking out there for Brennan. Brennan hands back to Khalil into the middle of the ground, looking down there for Purtzel and takes the mark. Corey Purtzel takes off. Kicks long, looking down here for Burkett and takes the mark, centre wing. Hands oh. off, oh, he's well tackled down there. His brink out. Very lucky not to be given a free kick against him. Well tackled, governs in the bottom of the pack as we'd well. expect to see him. Look, he just handballed off a player who was just not in the right position. Yeah, either shouldn't have been called by Brinkhouse or shouldn't have been given by Burkett there, but yeah. we all make mistakes. Indian wins the tap out down. Raymond gets the ball in front of Govan. Ball comes back. Smiley hits the forward, goes back to Govan. At the back comes the bags now on the left boot. Sends it high. Tassari's in front. Oh, oh bounces right. off that big chest of his. Well, he's not, he's happy, not happy with himself so either. Be very careful throwing the ball with a temper. So it'll be out of bounds right in front of the race here for Romsey. That's a hell of a mullet the boundary umpire's got. It, he's, he's happy with it too, the young fella. <laughs> Ball goes up. It's a big throw in. Brinkhouse caught behind. Smashed forward by Indian there. Ball's in dispute. Picked up by Macedon at the centre half forward. Ball hits the ground. Gets shoveled out the back. Somehow De Petro ends up with it. He saps around his body. Comes out looking for Burkett and has gone out of bounds. Basically where it come from. So centre wing. So it's very much like the first quarter. It's very even this one. Five minutes gone in the second quarter. So Indian... Against Brinkhouse. Brinkhouse has got front position. Ball goes up high. Indian taps it down the front. Raymond in the bottom of the pack. Tackle without the footy. Unlucky not to get a free kick. Handed out. Looking down there for De Petro, who's had the footy on a string today. He's run out of bounds, and we're going to have it thrown in again. Out of bounds. I reckon he's in the third row then before he kicked that ball. I don't know who he's trying to fool. No, no. I could say it's not hard to fool an umpire, but we're going to interview him at half Come time. on. We're, we're no, very no, positive no. about the umpires. Well, they've been doing a good job today. Well, depends what you ask. Young boundary but umpire with the mullet of the year is going to throw this in. South Australian, I'd say. Throws it up high. Sam Indian punches it over the head, looking down there for... Johnston. Johnston, well tackled. And that's been the, that's actually been the highlight of the day, the tackling, because no one's been able to escape either side. And no one's really cleared any cl clearances by, by foot or by hand. And they haven't been high tackles either. They've been right no. around the waist, locking them down. So Dyer wins that down. Govan works his way through the, pack, the stoppage somehow. Tassari and Cook battle it out. They tackle each other without the ball. Ball goes just bounce up and down. Kinnear gets the ball out to Raymond again, who just pulls away from the pack on that left boot. Sends it high, but it's a dangerous kick to Khalil. Khalil turns around, Dropped back it. around, drops an absolute sit up. Now they're off. They're outside the outer wing here, but it's a poor kick to Lockins. Oh, the two foot jump, Tim Memory that, style, Lockins. If that's a poor kick, I don't that know. That was what a poor is. kick because he was out by a long way. Coming he swings it wide to Will DePetro. DePetro has it now. Now De Petro's in the middle of the ground. There's a great opportunity for him now. He's calling his forwards up, looking for Jebob. Pops it up high, but it's a, not a great kick. Ball drops short, and that's a good mark to Corey Purcell. Comes back into the middle of the ground, looking down there for Brinkhouse. Brinkhouse is gone! Oh, he's got him from behind. That should be holding the ball. The umpires let it go. Comes down here to, to, to Sari. Braden Wasn't Smiley. Braden Smiley. We haven't got a 23 on there. What are we doing with our team list, guys? Kicked up high. The Cats are going to try and get it out of defence, and it's down to Burkhead, who takes the ball on half forward. Kicks high into the middle of the ground. Wilson. Looking for a marking. Wilson, he dropped what he should have taken. 
Ball hits the deck. You get off by hand. They've got enough numbers out there. Jackson Kinnear. Handballs it out, looking for an advantage. Comes back down there to Wilson again. They're both working hard. Khalil in the middle of the ground, drops it short, and that's a good mark taken down there by Zach Beggs in defence. Plays on by hand, kicks it out to Goff. Goff kicks it out wide, looking for a really good mark out there by Kernan, who's been quiet today. Comes around on their right foot. Opportunity over Matty Knox's head. And the ball's going to roll out of bounds. Or are we going to save it? Tassari, no, Tassari saves it by hand. Brings it out now down to Newham. And Newham's well tackled. And we're going to have a throw in right. No, it's a free kick to him. Well, it should. Yeah, that's poor by Jack Kernan. He ran out yeah. of bounds and then just pushed him over for no reason. So Newham with the ball. Kicks it short. Over the top of the Rumsey player's head. That's down there to Sam Wilson. He's got enough time to be able to pick it up. Tried to run out of his Fyland. Well tackled by them. Out to Hoyne. Hoyne picks it up. Kicks out wide. Looking out for Govan who bangs it deep and forward. And the ball's going to be punched out of bounds by Kyle Brennan for the Redbacks. And we're going to have it thrown in in the home forward pocket. Yeah, Brennan had plenty of time there. Could have taken that mark there, but just decided with the, yep. the team thing and just knock it out. So Brennan's a tall boy now. He'll take the ruck here up against Knox. But Knox has the, has the body weight advantage, as we mentioned earlier in the game. Knox gets front position there, just pushes him away. Does the Tom Hawkins try to snap out of the ruck, but it's only a behind. So very lucky there, Romsey. Very lucky. Eight and a half minutes gone. Romsey leading 4-4, 28 to 1 4 10. Looking out. He was looking out there for Brinkhouse, and that's where he's gone, and Brinkhouse takes the mark. Plays on on his left foot. Looking for Jeb Wobb. Ball hits the deck. What's he doing up there? Purtzel's down there deep. Quick snap by Smedley forward, but that's not a great kick, and the ball's going to roll out of bounds, and we're going to have it thrown in again. Forward pocket for the Cats. Yeah, and that just, uh, there's the highlight of Jed Wobb again. Not, not getting a lot of supply forwards, just pushing himself up to the midfield. Yeah, Straight well, in the action. Well, he's seen Nathan Raymond go up midfield and kick four <laughs> goals, and when you're leading the league goal kicking, you may as well try it yourself. So the ball will be thrown in right forward pocket here for Macedon. Ball goes up. Knox pushes away again, this time can't clear it. Ooh. Comes out via Rums, he jams on the boot. It's been yeah. downfield free kick here. Yeah, he was too. He decked him after the ball, and that was a sling tackle. And just be very careful there, Mr Knox. So there he is, the man we're talking about, Jed Wobb. Has the ball at centre-half back. Just chips it forward. Finds, Kal finds Burkett. Sends on the left foot forward. Finds Braden Smiley a bit further along. So Romsey now, using this, their ball skill, sends it wide and inside looking for Adamson. Gets pushed away. Jed Wobb at the front of the ball, can't clear it up. Ball has been tied up here, waiting for the umpire to call. And so I'll have it, thank you. Just offensive side for Romsey on, on the outer wing. Well, that's a basketball term. You can't ask how you'd call that during the week. Up it goes. Ball taps down. Working hard in the bottom pack is Morham. Handballs it out. Here's an opportunity out there from through Bridgeland. Kicks the ball out wide, but it's all Romsey and it's kicked along the ground. Out of bounds. No. Saved in the air by Bags. Balls. This is, this is absolutely really hard to see over there at the moment. We're Hoyne. Hoyne's got the ball. Oh, this has been a bit of luck. Filing on his left. Just bangs it forward. Looking for a goal, but it's going to miss to the right. And there's another behind to the... To the Cats, that takes Mass in the one goal, 5 11, trailing Romsey 4 4 28, and, and the Redbacks are all over them at the moment. Yeah, that just shows there when Filan just jammed that ball in 4 50, there was absolutely no one in the 50, so they've lost all structure forward. Yeah, they've gone to Brinkhouse three or four times out of from the kick in. They really need to, Sam Indy needs to tighten that up. So out wide goes Brinkhouse, comes out now down to Raider Ma Raid Maker, is it? Raider Maker. Raider Maker, but it's short and it's taken out there by Cookie. Jason Cook. Takes off, looking for an option. Not a lot of leads coming out of the forward line. Big Sam Indians down there. But the ball comes over the back. And no, uh, it's not going to be... It's going to no, be a free kick, free kick to Sam, Sam Indian, Indian, I believe. Indian, is it? Yeah, in the marking contest. I noticed that it was... Uh, Sal Pietro was down there trying to look for a sneaky little goal. and you know, I can't imagine small forwards trying He's to do that. He's already had the one Joe the Goose. I know. And that's the only goal they've had so far. So Sam Indian, this is very, a really important yeah, kick for him. Very, very this. tight angle here. Yeah, still six scoring shots to eight, so, but it's the way Matt Romsey have been doing. It's just a lot cleaner. Indian, in he comes. The big ruckman pops it up high and kicks it out in the full. And would you expect anything less from a ruckman? We've seen, we've seen Sam Indian play no, very no, well no, forward no, no. day Answer this year. Answer the question. Don't, don't no, try that's and sugarcoat No, that's this. what I'm saying is he's not a ruckman. He's a forward that they're converting into a ruck. So I don't mind him taking that shot, but today I hope he doesn't do ruckman. that again. <laughs> Oh, God, we love Ruckman. It's Ruckman week in the AFL. Did you know that? Oh, you listen to Triple M. Oh, I've, I've, heard, I've heard retro week. That's yeah. no, it's Ruckman week. Oh. So we do everything we can to promote the Ruckman. 
I was brought in by the by the red backs. By the borough, the Jesus! I was. I've had two you're borough a week, games you're a week in a behind. Row. Sam Wilson takes the mark in defence for the red backs. Sam Raymond Wilson Le given plenty of oh, time that's there. That's a shocking kick. Ball bounces. Oh, shouldn't be. It was a lot of pressure. Hoyne handballs it out for Smedley. Smedley one way or the other. Tried to run his way through the pack. Comes out down here to to um, Moreham who handballs out. Looking down there for Jason Cook and Cook takes the mark. Comes short in the middle of the ground, but he slipped over what he should have stayed up for, and that was uh, Goff. Goff. Pops it up high, and oh, just barreling into the pack with no real regard for anyone. And I think that was Sal Pietro who just come balling into the pack then. Uh, Kyle Brennan didn't like the, t didn't like no, the contact. He's, he's front on, too. He was yeah. unlucky not to be given a free kick. And they paid 50. That's a it was, there was a free kick for something given, but it wasn't to Brennan. Yeah, well, and so. after that, it was another 50. So I think the Macedon Mouths might be working pretty overtime at the moment because they've given a few away into the middle of the ground, looking down there for Blair. Blair takes off, plays on, kicks along into the middle, but it's a poor kick. Another turnover in halfback. Kicking down, looking down here for Kernan. Kernan takes a mark for the Cats. Turns around. Kicks long. Sal Pietro's out the back looking for an easy option. Ball hits a deck. This is where he's dangerous. Tries and does something very clever, Dacos-like, and doesn't quite up to it. And the ball rolls through for another point. That ball just touched his boot because he had plenty of time. Oh, he's a clever Sal Pietro. Yeah, but he's got, he's got to actually kick football. the ball, though. Oh. So... Tassari will bring the ball in for Romsey here. You, you do have to give credit to the opposition when they play Romsey sometimes. Just but he didn't kick the ball. He if, missed it. If the camera could turn around and see what what, what yes. team beanie are you wearing? I'm wearing a Romsey beanie because oh, well. it's about six degrees here. I'm from Thailand. So <laughs> Tassari sends it out looking for Blair. But it's a great mark there taken by Toby Sims. Toby Sims, left half forward flank. Oh, he's, no, it's been on Sam Oh, no, Indian. Sam Indian's been given a free no. kick in the contest. Don't kick it to the Ruckman. So Sidney sends it forward, sends it over Cookie's head. Jammed on the boot there by Di Pietro. Sends it long, looking for Mitch Adamson. He runs back to the flight, can't pick it up. Picked up by De Haas. De Haas sends it forward, looking for Jed Wobb. Ball spoiled well there by Gray. He's warden like a glove today, Gray. He's given him nothing. Jed Wobb jumps over the pack, so it doesn't land in the back. And the ball's just been tied up there on the outer wing underneath Nathan Bridgeland. He has, he's done a really yeah, good Will job. Yeah, Will Gray's Jack. done a great job so far this and half. Ja and Jack's having to push up to try and get some kicks. Yeah. And that is his and, strength. And, and Gray's following him too. Yeah. So, you know, he's not just a one trick pony, Gray. So, well done. Ball goes up. One down by Brinkhouse. But it's taken away by Hoyne for Macedon. Sends it forward. Two on one. Brennan gets the spoil on. But it goes down the pack. At the bottom of that, he looks like Tassara, who's wrapped up immediately. If there's a quick, by Knox. If there's a quick switch out here, Toby Sims is sitting out and sitting out full yeah. with no one on him. The cats are coming, just going too wide. They've just got to come into the corridor a little bit early because players are actually working their way down the midfield. Any team knows how to play a big ground is massive because their ground's a monster. So the ball's been knocked down by Brinkhouse, picked up by Indian, left behind by a bit to Di Pietro. Ball bounces over the top, everyone goes out the back towards Blair, picks it up well, there he goes. gives a great handball to Jed Wobb. Jed Wobb with a lovely inside ball, goes over the top of Burkett coming out of the midfield. This Leo Webb at the back. Oh, he left it behind. Burkett picks it up. Swings around that left boot of his. Goal. And has... Kicked it. So finally, Romsey have a second goal kicker. Matt Burkett at the 15 and a half minute mark of the second quarter becomes Romsey's second goal kicker and fifth for the day. Good play. Jeb Bob too. Jumped the, jumped the pack and took off. And if they're going to give those forwards that much room, and you could see then with Matty Burke, he just worked him under and then just doubled back. Oh, he that, knew what he was doing. It was a very lucky bounce on the outer wing that bounced over the top of the Macedon player and landed in Blair's hands. Yep. But the second it landed in Blair's hands, Jed Wobb knew exactly what was happening, ran through the play, and that just shows the class. Yep. So the Cats would be really disappointed with this. Seven scoring shots, only the one goal, and, then, and with this breeze. Ball's tapped down by Indian at the back. Here comes Raymond again, who's on his left foot. Bangs up high, looking for an opposition mark. Oh, oh great mark. Adamson. Mitch Adamson. That's mark of the day so far. That was strong, because that had Jacob Goff's yeah. name written all over it. That was a fantastic mark, and when modern technology catches up with our cameraman, one day we'll be able to get a replay, but not this year. And Nath Raymond coming off for a well-deserved rest. So Mitch Adamson finish it off with a goal. That would be um, that's a highlight reel. Tag this one, and we'll get this in the highlight reel because that was a fantastic mark. Make Adamson. sure you get Paul's great call of it too. In he comes, left foot, straight over the top, and that's how you finish it off. Well done, Mitch Adamson. 
We take our hat off to you. That was sensational. And that's good for Mitch because he's been in and out of the seniors um, all season. So It was a gutsy mark. If Justin Sherman wants to show something during the week of how you put your body on the line as a young person, that's what you show. Yeah, and, and if you're in and out of the side, you need to do everything you can to hold your spot. They're throw right. your bot, throw yeah. your body on the line like that. And I think Justin goes, well, there's your spot sealed for next week. So, so And goes back and finishes as well. Now, really important. Let's see what Macedon have got. They, they are in the finals at the moment. They're getting absolutely poleaxed here at the moment and blown away. Let's see what they've got, where they can fix this up. So ball goes up. Indian versus Brinkhouse. Indian wins it down, goes straight down to Cook, who's pushed himself in the ruck. Jams it on the boot with a clearance. Purcell smothers the ball in front of Govan. Gets straight back up, hands the ball, walls back to Smiley. Comes back to Purcell, who goes further out wide again. On the boot was Milburn. Sends it further out again. Sam Wilson. Here we go, Sam Wilson had plenty of the ball this quarter. Plenty of the wing as well. Sends it down forward to Fulker for Adamson. Can't quite gather that one in. Second effort's good, but yeah. unfortunately it runs out of bounds. No, free kick. No, free kick. Grabbed hold of him and he didn't have it. But it's, they're bringing it in a lot cleaner now, Romsey. They've opened it up. Catch with the ball. Bring it in the middle of the ground. It's a poor kick. Ball hits the deck. Fine on one way there. Tries and gets rid of it. Cook. Gone and pushed himself in the middle. What a true captain would do. Bags takes the mark. Back to Cook. Cook kicks long. Ball hits the deck. No one's advantage. Yes, he is. This ball bounced really well for Kernan. Over the back, and he's missed what he should have kicked. Dylan Johnston. And that was, he just needed, he, he was rushed, should have taken time. Were they talking to him? No one will know except those around him. Jason Cook has been in the mid, midfield no, for about 90 seconds, to, and he's he, had five touches. So. He has to. He, they need to get some drive. So the ball will be brought back in here by Nate Tassari. Score is 6-4-40. Romsey leading Macedon 1-7-13. 19 minutes gone, second quarter. In comes Tassari, sends it high to the left back flank. Newnham goes for the mark, can't quite complete. Comes down to Smedley, back to Goff. Kins his ball inside forward. Oh, good grab. oh great grab. Is that, Zach is, that, is that Bags? Yep. Who's had a really tough yeah. day because he's been cleaned up in the midfield. Now he go back, kick the goal, and let your side settle down. So Bags, he'd be, what, he'd be 45, maybe 50 out yeah, by the time he kicks, kicks it. Because if he kicks the goal, I know it's only two goals, seven, it's still nine scoring shots of ten, so but, you know, the amount of time spent in each forward line has been relatively even. They're yeah. just not clean. Yeah, so in comes Bags. Going to have to give it everything he's got here. In he comes. Plays on, sends it on its way. It's no. out to the right. Is it going to make the distance? The oh, contest is up. Great mark there. Knox. That's Knox. That's the advantage of having a big body, and Matty Knox is going to try and walk into the middle of the ground and kick this. Oh, they're going to push him right out to the boundary line, I'd say. Right in front of the other, 18, nine and a half. Now, I say this with all due respect to Matty Cox. Knox? I'm, no, Knox, I'm, I'm not putting my money on him. Knox comes he in. Comes straight over the gun pies hat. He says, stuff Shut you, up, Paul. Paul. I've got this sorted. Oh, I've always known I'm a fool. So, well, Macedon um, need to buy back, and, they've ha and they have, through really what Justin Sherman will be, absolutely spewing a defensive error there. To let the big fella get that far in front of everyone, hold him back, surely... Someone from Romsey should have flown from behind and, and spoiled that ball. I same, know he is a tall boy with his arms same extended. Token, oh, it's the same token. There's a new word. Sorry, Dave Tyken. Everyone, I just canned in. But the same token, the defence for Romsey have been the way they're running the ball yes. out is just and and the, and the, how they're neutralising is just killing them. But you know, the coach is never happy. No doesn't matter how well, well, matter how well they play. Well, he's They've got another contract, so he should yeah. be happy. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the the glorious mullet to give oh, the ball back to our umpire in the middle quick, of the field. Mate. Flows beautifully in the wind, too. I, I hope Cam got that on camera there, because that's perfect. Oh, we're just jealous. So, we got Knox Jordan Dyer right. here. Oh, no, it's Knox. Yeah. They sent him forward. He cannot get off the ground, though. No. Well done by Brinkhouse there. Bags versus Raymond. Raymond works his way in front of the ball. Bags fights back. Ball comes out to the Haas to Khalil. Khalil sends a high up and under ball towards Jed Wobb. Goff's got time to get back. Jed Wobb's been dragged down by Gray. Ball comes oh, out. Oh, that's high, too yeah. high. Too aggressive there by Blair. Had to just hold back a little bit. And that comes out to Josh Blake. So Blake has it in the left back pocket yeah. for Macedon. Yeah, kick down the line. That's where he'll be going. Looking Blake. looking for Sims. Knocks Sims knocks. Well spoiled by Brinkhouse. Ball comes to the ground. DeHaas goes in the hard. Ball spills out the back towards Cook, who's wrapped up immediately. They dive in top of him, make sure he can't get the ball out. And it'll be a ball up smack bang in front of us here in the commentary box. And boy throws it up. Balls tapped down. Knox handballs it out. Looking down. If it bags, who's just ridden into the ground and rolled over, and we're going to be have another throw up. Nathan Raymond again on the bottom of that pack. It's all right, Four goals to his name already. It's all right, Boundary Empire. Get that glorious mullet on TV. We all love it. <laughs> Gets tapped down. 
Comes the shark uh, back by Sims there, wrapped good immediately tackle. by Jed Wobb. So the pressure's really good. I mean, that's, that's what you're looking for. It, it come in half time and you can't question the pressure from either side. It's been a very rare that has been a clear yeah. clearance out of here. Ball so goes up, Massage down. Sends it down to Di Pietro, jams on the right boot, sends it forward, picked up by Blair beautifully, but he's oh, pushed pressure. as he kicks, it goes straight up and down, and it'll be out of bounds on the full. And that ball will be taken here by... Uh, just Oh, that's Webb, Leo Webb. Leo... Well, yeah, Brings it there. outside, looking for Goff and Dyer. Dyer flies from deep, but it comes out the back to Masad, who stayed down. Handball missed the target out for Wilson. Got Rademacher if he wants him, uses him. Runs around on his left boot. Good inside ball. Good Finds Di Pietro all by himself. Di Pietro. Is by himself. Was absolutely and Blair, sorry. There's no one on him in the middle of the ground. Kicks out wide, looking for Darcy Lockins. It's not a great kick, though. Darcy Lockins has got enough room to be able to do it. Into the middle of the ground. Blair had his hands up, but it's pushed out down there through Bullis. He's going to work it hard forward. Kicks it along the ground. Now they're out. The Cats out wide, kick long, looking to the forward line. Ball goes up, and that's a good set of hands by Indian. The ball's punched well out there by Brennan, and the ball's going to be held up tight in the pack. Handball quickly out. Here they go, calling it up forward, looking down there for... Four, four, who we got? So oh, Ali Khalil, who just kicks it off the ground, and it's going to be pushed out wide, and we're going to have a throw in the pocket. Yeah, I think that was Aaron Moram on the outer side there. Could have taken up some more space, but... I don't know if he didn't think he had the legs in him to keep going or not. Well, but we had a crack at Romsey about not going down the middle early in the, in the last quarter, first quarter, and now they're doing it really well. Macedon is starting to go wide for everything, so um, everything's changed. They've just swapped over their tactics. Ball but thrown in, up a tap down, out to what Jed Wobb. Handball's out, look at Khalil. Takes on his right foot, kicking long, looking down there for Adamson, but the ball's going to be marked down there by Goff. Uh, Blake. Blake. Blake brings it back into the middle. Here's an opportunity if he can hold it. But great defence down there By through Braden Smiley. Smiley. Ball's run out looking for Lockins. Lockins one way than the other. He's just a little bit too quick and too smart down there for him at the moment. But that's a poor kick into the forward line. But they were worth talking. And they were very lucky then. Young Webb takes off looking out wide. Kicks it down here looking for Toby Sims. Sims hits the ball hard. Hoyne, he's always at the bottom of the pack. But he's faced by Jack Jebwob. Pick, taps it out to Cook. Cook just pops it up high, looking for a mark. That's down at Kernan. Numbers have got down there by Brennan for the Redbacks, and it's going to be forced through from behind. Cookie's almost kicked that from 45 out off one step around the body. Yeah. That's not a bad effort from the bloke who you said was too old. So sorry, things out wide, looking for Jeb Wob. Ball hits a deck, comes out, and they've got the numbers out here. That's a poor kick over the back. Taken down there by Big Dwyer. Taps it out wide. Always never give it to the Ruckman in those comp so those things. And there's a siren for half time. So Romsey, six goals, 440. Lead Macedon, two goals, 820. In a rather dominant quarter for the Redbacks. Yeah, so look, we'll just go through the goal kickers quickly for the first half. For Macedon, two single goal kickers. Manny Knox in the second quarter. Yeah. And Sal Pietro for the opening goal of the game. And we uh, go, over to, go over to Romsey. Um, Nathan Raymond, four goals in the first half. A terrific effort for a midfielder. Matty Burkett's got one and Mitch Adamson's got one. So um, a little bit of work to do for the Cats at uh, half-time. Half uh, Alistair's going to have a little bit of have to reset this side. Yeah, look, 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 they've got a lot of good players. We, we mentioned Goff. Hoyne's been everywhere. Hoyne's probably been their best on. Hamish Govan's limping at the moment. That's not a good sign no. for them. They, they, you know, they really needed him in the midfield. They um, just need to clean up. I mean, they, they come in with some... It's there. Well, you look at the scoring shots, it's 10 scoring shots each. One's kicked 6 4, the other one's kicked 2 8. So the, the eight, I mean, they're just blazing their, their pressure shots. The defence for Romsey, as, as good as the midfield's been, the defence for Romsey's been outstanding. Yep. And we mentioned, I don't, you couldn't say either midfield is on top. You couldn't say that. No. Both midfields are playing well, but yep. no one's on top of the other team. But Romsey's defence is all over the, the Masson forwards. So it's interesting to see just in front of us here, all the Masson boys got together having a little bit of a soul search. So they do need to regroup, they do need to to reset themselves for this second half. And to say Jason Cook is animated would be an understatement. Well, I'd say. that's what a captain's got to do. And he's put himself in the middle, and we both said he, you know, when he went in the middle, he got plenty of footy himself. So we're going to have a break. We'll catch up with everyone in about five, ten minutes' time. Yeah, and, and we uh, have a special halftime interview. We do. We're going to talk to the boss of the umpires, and you can say that because I'll say all the wrong things. We'll see you guys shortly. Thank you.
And welcome back to Romsey Park, where Romsey comfortably lead Masson at the moment, six goals forty to two goals seven nineteen. And joining us is the boss of the umpires, Harley Darmanin. Congratulations, welcome. Uh, some quick whistles out here today, mate. But uh, this is an opportunity for you now to come and have a chat to us about all the umpires, and they do a great job. We have a lot of fun. And we we definitely want sideshow Bob for um, the last round. So whatever you can do, organise that for us when you do your roster, because we want to interview him. We give him buggery. And we must say, the mullet on the young fella walking out there in the boundary umpire today is something sensational as well. So we have a lot of fun with the umpires. I hope they enjoy it as well. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Um, here's your opportunity. Um, we need some umpires. We need some new people. So promote away. We certainly do. Um, and, yeah, the guys today have you know, are working well. Um, uh, we've got Barton bring the ball up. And he's, he's one of our young up and coming in, I suppose, the future you know, of the real umpires at the moment. Um and yes, we are certainly kind of, yeah, we've kicked off our recruitment campaign at the moment. So we're working with our, our senior football clubs at the moment. So over the last couple of years, we've worked with the junior clubs to transition players to umpires and I suppose just bridge that gap a little bit. So at the moment, we've yeah just kicked off our senior um, club engagement program. So we've got umpires visiting our senior clubs over the next couple of weeks and out to training and you know trying to get some of the blokes running the twos to either help out on a Sunday and, and help manage those under-15s and under-17 games, which you know can be quite hot um, and a chance to kind of you know, stay involved in the game and, and transition out of football smoothly. So for Tony, Harley Darman, is, he's the boss of the umpires, mate, so we've got to be nice to him <laughs> and we don't give him too much over the year. Um, we notice that, that lots of young, very young umpires in the system and we and we know <laughs> Sam and them are still running around. Yeah. I've um, never seen an umpire with a walking stick yet, but we're getting very close <laughs> to that with a few of them, Johnny Deering and a few others. Um the age group of the umpires, we seem to have a really old bracket and a really young bracket. It's the middle bit we've got to try and fill. Is that why you're looking for players? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we know players have a really good understanding of the game, um, you know, and and they do have some varying levels of fitness. But we think, yeah, that they will you know, certainly offer and, and help educate. And, and that's part of our role out there on a match day is to also help educate players, um, you know, at the junior level in, in how best to play the game. So, you know, Brett Hickey, who heads up, um, our junior umpires at the moment is, you know, I'm sure we've we've heard his name around the league for many years. Oh, and Brett Hickey was a superstar. Player. Exactly, yeah, one Part of you. Cat's head, he was. Exactly, so you know, that's yeah, yeah, that's the type of you know, yeah, people that we need out there on a, yep. um, yeah, on a Sunday, help educating. Yeah, cool. look, Harley, look, I'm, I'm a junior coach as well. I coach down the nines here, my son. Um, and my, my daughter plays at netball, so I'm... Are, are you still banned from being in the boundary line after never, you're abusing umpires or thing. not? Um, we have our... Unfortunately, for our, uh, on the nines, we have our vol parent volunteers as our umpires, but, you know, we've got family friends playing all the way through the junior leagues here and just seeing the amount of work... that You know, some umpires are doing three, four jo uh, games uh, on a Sunday. <laughs> By the fourth game, you feel sorry for them. Like, they're absolutely wrecked. And as, as we all know, as the age groups get a little bit older, the kids like to back chat a little bit more, so... We need extra extra umpires in to help these guys out, so they're not doing four games on a Sunday. You know that takes that's a lot of commitment out. So yeah. one obvious question is the remuneration. How much you get paid for it? Let's just use remuneration as a word. Um, what is the fees? What do, what do the umpires get paid? I yeah. mean, that we should all know, but I mean, it, if you want to attract people, if there's, if there's good money money in it, yeah, there, yeah, there is. So I think an under 15s or under 17s game is about seventy dollars at the moment for field or boundary for the field. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so it's all tax-free kind of cash cash money, um, you know, for you. So, yeah, I think the under 11s run at about a dollar a minute, you know, of, of playing time. So it's you know, a pretty good job. It's you know, the equivalent of being out in the mines or something like that. So, so if I if I run out there and someone abuses me for one minute, I get one dollar. I wouldn't say that's great remuneration <laughs> if I was, uh, yeah, no, I'm only stirring you. But, but yeah, <laughs> look, look, you guys have you know, Zach Zach Martin from. Uh, Jacob Martin from our under 15s coach here at Romsey. Um, he's a he's a junior umpire as well. Yeah. Um, and it's I, I know personally just from being on the training track, listening to Jacob chat to his players, the amount of intake that those guys get and learn about okay, what well, you can do this, you can't do this, this is what they mean. It's so good to help a player A learn how to play the game properly, but B understand when the call's made out on the ground, not to react in the way that is not correct towards our umpires that we need these yeah. guys. So to and have that understanding behind it is, is hugely beneficial. And you only got to look on the tribunal's results on it. We have, we've hardly had any incidences this year of, let's see how word thuggery, something we did in the 80s very well. But um, 
that just seems to have gone out of the game. Yeah, there's a few, a few mouth offs out here, but they quickly dealt with the fifties and they pull them up pretty quick because the penalties yeah. are severe. Yeah. So I, look, I, I, I missed the, no, the Starley interview. Have we spoken about our? So yeah, we've asked for him for the last round. So okay. if you don't, if you don't come through, because he <laughs> yes. is our cult hero of yes. boundary umpires. Well, um, look, your other friend, you know, Rainbow, yeah, um, yeah. as well. We know you're fond of Rainbow, and and he's travelling well. So you know, if he. Well, I Qantas think. have actually banned flight paths <laughs> over the footy ground when he throws it in. Is that that bloody yeah. guy? But I think, yeah, if we're going back to, I suppose, you know, the player Spencer, who's who's on the boundary today, he plays under-17s at Centrals. Um, you know, and, and I think he's just improved his understanding of the game, kind of running the boundary, yep. you know, and, and seeing how... You know, yeah, how these senior blokes and how they how they set up. Uh, and uh, look, Ryan Monaghan is another one. You know, he played at Diggers Rest when he was a junior as well, and played reserves at Diggers Rest. So, yeah, you know, having these guys out on the ground a helps the game flow smoothly because they understand what is it not a free kick, and helps their teams as well. So, I think it's great all round. Yeah. Well, they're about to bounce the ball. Thank you very much for your time, and you're welcome any time to come in the box and give us umpires' perception. Yeah. We won't agree <laughs> with you. But we do our best. Yeah. So welcome and thank you. Um, well, thank you very much for coming along. And uh, perfect. Off we go. And I'll let you jump into it and do the start the call, mate. Thanks, Harley. So the ball comes down again. Brinkhouse just jumps straight on top there, as he's continuing on the way he did the f first half. Number goes Brinkhouse taps it down. Sam Indian picks the ball up. Trying to barge his way through, and he's not careful. He's going to be ping on the ball, but he's got it out. The finest Smedley's in there for the Cats, fighting away. Down on the bottom is Leo Webb, and out it comes now. Ali Khalil, he's got the pace, but he's well shepherded off the ball. Picked up. Good tackle. That was Webb who's put the tackle on. We're going to have a throw up on centre wing. So the ball well, will be taken here. Tone's all dressed again. Got yeah. the headphones on. You yeah. ready to go? Sorry, my son just come and ask for money for the canine. As you should he, he's, pay out. Yeah, he's, um, he's heard the canine review. He loves oh, it. Oh, no, the chips are so, sensational. So the ball comes out by Purcell at the back oh, to Braden Smiley. Gone. Great tackle there. It has to be called. No. Uh, yes, Ah, yes, gone. it was a late call. But yes, well, yeah. well, well, well reserved there. Not, you're not sure who it was, but whoever it was from Masson is still down. So he's copped it, but it was a great yeah. tackle. Smedley. Smedley. Yeah. It was. So for Smedley to stay down. Give it over. You're going to get a 50. No, he's waiting for him to turn around. No, it's, it's going over down into yeah, uh, uh, yeah, Smedley's in all sorts. Oh, yeah. He's it. gone off with the blood rule. So that's why he wasn't turning around. The wrongs you played, not sure. I think it was Raymond. Didn't want to give it to the wrong person and get paid 50, but I don't think Smedley actually knows where he's going at the moment because he's no. nowhere near the interchange gate. No, he's just running to the boundary line. Replacement Lockie Hay comes on. Reminds Smedley to go through the gates. So he's bleeding. Can't see any blood ourselves. Uh, that looks right. like... He's got no idea where he's going at the moment. He's running off to the wrong club rooms. Uh, he's running in through the, the gates. gates yeah. yep. So it'll be Zach Baggs here. We'll have the ball. Oh, he's at, just copped on, yep. on the bridge of the snores. Had a, had a bit of a down first half, Baggs. Oh, Ooh, I thought he'd be cool to play on there. Went yeah. for the fake, but chips it up. Look at forward line. Out of the back there. Great mark right. taken by Tassari. Oh, oh like Cookie it. didn't like it. No, Tassari gave the best acting Jace. job too. Logie's already been Tassari. He can't win it now. So now Tassari has it in the right back pocket for Rumsey. Sets his options. Being called to play on now. Chips it outside the defensive 50. Ball doesn't hit the target. That's Wilson. Tackle without the ball. Ball comes out via bags. Sends the ball back inside 50 over the top of Knox. And Ali Khalil takes the relieving mark at half back. So Khalil's got the ball. Switches out wide looking out there for Burkett. Sankey. Sankey. Sankey kicks the ball long, long wide. Hits the deck. Tackled. Looking out for Hay. Kicks it long in the pocket, and there's a good mark down there by Jack Kernan. Hay's another one that's a commentator's delight. He has blonde Blo tip yeah. curls, long sleeve, very easy to, a, to pick out. And yellow, yellow on the boot, so it's not hard. So Kernan right deep in the pocket, wrong side for a right footer, and probably, probably going to prove me he's a left. No, he's a right footer. They need this one. They need a good start here, Masson, to get themselves back in the game. Pops it up. Leans back. Oh, and it's a it great hits. kick. No, it's oh. missed. When the umpire taps your shoulder, mate, that means they've missed. Oh, it looked like Jackie Curtin was celebrating. Yeah. So Khalil brings the ball in. Dangerous kick. Pertzel takes the marks, plays on, gives the handball off to Brinkhouse, off to Raymond. Raymond sends the ball out wide. Over the top of his yeah, uh, uh, target there, and Adamson has been a relieving mark there to Leo Webb. Webb sends the ball back forward. Marked out the back by Morham. Morham gives the hands off to Bullis. Bullis slams it on the boot. Tassari, push from behind. Great, Pertzel, great front and centre. Sends the ball out of his left foot to Sankey. Callum Sankey takes the mark. 
Sends the ball inside. Dangerous kick as well, but Judd Rudamaker and the young fella. So they're using the football a lot better now, Romsey. They're looking, they're lowering their eyes. And no, sorry, that was Milburn, sorry. So Khalil takes off, kicks it long, looking down for Jed Wobb. Pushed out of the contest. Ball hits the deck. Well tackled down there by Blair, and the umpire's paying a free kick, and it's going to go to the Cats, and that's down to Leo Webb. When the young Webb takes off on the left foot, looking out for Zach Baggs. Baggs, one way or the other, kicks long down the line. That's not a great kick looking for Fylan, but Brinkhouse was in the way. Ball hits the deck, fighting hard down in the bottom there is, is Tassari, kicks it into the middle of the ground. Looking down the for now for DePetro, who's been absolutely knocked up getting the footy. Kicks in there by Sam Wilson and ball hits the deck out to Darcy Lockins. There's an opportunity now, but it's a bit of a blaze. You just need to put it up because it was a two-on-one and they missed an opportunity I, I think there. that's what he did. I think he tried the pass and just, just ball ran on. Didn't hit either target, either Jack or Miss Adamson there. So Dylan Johnson with a footy for the Cats. Deep. Plays on. Short kick into the pocket. Nathan Blair with, with the play, with pressure on immediately. Yeah, Not so, letting anyone go anywhere, no, Blair. So Goff's got the ball. Kicks long. Looking, Looking for, Indian. for Sam Indian. Up they go. That's also Toby Sims is in the front of the pack, but there's numbers out here. Brinkhouse, who's been absolutely sensational on the rock today, pops it up high. Looking down there for a marking contest. Fighting hard, and I think they're going to ping him here. No, the umpire's going to ball it up. Very lucky. Nath Raymond there. They could just have again. For his fifth. He's dangerous around goals, Nath. He's dangerous everywhere. So umpire Barton McIntyre has the ball. 15 out from Romsey goal. Ball goes up. One down by Jedwab towards Raymond. Can't quite gather it. Ball's in dispute. They're just everyone's on the top. Raymond, Blair all over. Sims there. I'm just going to have a... And it's been a free kick pulled out and it's going to Raymond. Oh, it's going for Sims fifth. is not happy with the call at oh. all. No, and there's think a bit a, of push yeah. and shove going on here too. I think it was a little bit, little yeah. bit lucky there, there for Raymond. Be careful, mate. They've, you've got the free kick and so you've got a shot at goal. Raymond comes around the body, AFL style in the oh. right boot, misses everything. He kicked that like a ruckman. That's gone straight out of bounds, straight across uh, goal. There's been a free kick given away here. Who's it going? It's going to Macedon. Yeah, against Pert's elbow, looks like it's yeah. too high. So the pushing, shoving doesn't actually get anyone anywhere. No, so no. Goff will have to bring the ball back into the middle of the ground or go to Bridgeland. I don't think anyone knows what's going on out in the ground at the moment. So Nathan Bridgeland has it. Right, full back. Handball's off to Goff. Goff sends it out to centre wing looking for Kernan. Or Indian, but it's oh, marked in the grab. middle by Kinnear. Kinnear has the ball, sends it back. Oh, it's a worm burner, but sends it towards Blair, who's spoiled from behind. But manages to pull his strength out. Blair gets the one-two, drops it again. Little worm burner outside looking for Ray, Ray, uh, Jed Wobb. Yep. Doesn't Adam quite Adam hit the ball. target. See what he was trying to do. Yeah, just didn't quite have the balance there, Blair. They're, so just, they're just better around the contest at the moment. They're just going a little bit harder, the Romsey. Well, they know well, this is make oh, or break Indian. for their season too. Indian and Brinkhouse are having a bit of a push and shove. Ball's taken down there by Toby Sims. And Brinkhouse won't mind that either. No, it's in the blood. Sims kicks long, looking down the line for Indian and Brinkhouse. They go up against each other. Three, four Romsey players, and it's one down there by uh, Sam Indian. Good tackle down there on Lachlan Hay by Brinkhouse and he always let you know if it's in the family blood that, that you've, uh, he's been tackled by a Brinkhouse. So th these two will rejoin their, their uh, contest. Indian versus Brinkhouse. Ball goes up. Brinkhouse loses down to Indian there. Comes out Hoyne. towards Hoyne. Hoyne picks the ball up. Jams on the right boot. Sends it forward looking for Knox. Good spoil by Brennan from behind. Down Di Pietro versus Cook. Ball gets spat out the back towards Tassari. Oh, it's off the right, head, right of his foot. Comes Clever. out towards Wilson. Plenty of time. Sends the ball back out of defensive 50. Adamson's leading the race. Gathers the ball. Gives the look, look away handball. Hollywood style to De Pietro. Sends the ball inside. This is a good That's build, a mark right? by De Haas. Look De Haas gives the, the handball back to Wilson again. Wilson gets around one target. Sends it out further wide. Look for Raymond. Sport well there by, by Hay. Ball comes back inside. We've got the numbers here, Romsey. Raymond gives the handball off, finds the running to Haas, goes back into troubles. Handball's turned over to Leo Webb. Jams on the left boot. Finds the only mass in playing between a nest of five. Ball's turned over again at centre half forward. Comes out to Pertzel, gives the one two off Radame, off, off Milburn. Pick up, well picked up there by Darcy Lockin, swings around, sends it deep, looking for Jack up forward. Oh, he's got oh it. great mark, Jack Jedwob. Just too big, too strong. Oh, it's right. the Raymond. Raymond at the top of the goal square. Oh, he'll love that I called him Jack Jedwob. He will let me know that tomorrow. So just going Raymond for going fifth. for his fifth. And that's um, 
All in all, a good day in the office. Five goals. Yeah. Around into the third quarter, eight minutes in. Nath Raymond. Kicks through, and there's another one. That's his fifth goal, and the first goal for the quarter. That takes Romsey to seven goals, 5-47, leading Macedon 2-8, and uh, that's a nice break. That's starting yeah. to really get away from him a bit now. Yeah, and look, Nath Raymond has been awesome all year for Romsey, and he's going to be up there in the bowling uh, medal voting, if you ask me. He's been, even even in Romsey's very bad slouch that they had there for, what, six weeks, I think it was, this is he was still he was still beating, taking up to everyone. This is fifth versus sixth for a finals berth. This is really poor for Macedon. Really yeah. poor. This I mean, is the Macedon we've seen at the start of the season, isn't yeah, it? It's not, they, not a Macedon of the back half of the season. The umpires. We called a 6-6-6. Yes, Braden Smiley was not in the goal square. Yep, so there's a warning. So Zach Massad versus Jordan Dyer. Dwight Dyer. Dyer wins it down easily there. Phylum wrapped up. I thought he was taken high initially. Phylum. Umpire's going to ball it back up. Massad. Tap down. Now come the catch, ball well smothered. Kept brought back in there by Jordan Dwyer. Kicks the ball long, looking for a marking contest. Cook was in front, but that was Tassari. He was just too strong out the back. Pops it out wide, looking down here for Newham. Newham plays on, kicks out wide, looking for Darcy Lockins. Lockins well out on the wing, looking for him. Players, Corey Purcell screaming for it in the middle of the ground, but he's gone short, looking for Blair. Blair takes off. Calling players up on his right foot, kicks it long, looking down for Jed Wobb and his big hands in front. Well taken down there by Corey Purcell, having a snap for goal, and the ball's oh. run through. That is a great goal. Goal of the day, right in front of the under-90s and a half, which is exactly where you want to kick a good goal. Corey Purcell, beautiful work there. And you mentioned him earlier, he was calling for the ball inside. He so was. the work right there to keep pushing forward, follow the ball up, gets well rewarded there, Purcell. Oh, they're all over the cats at the moment. This is, this is getting a little bit ugly. The thing is, I mean, you watch the Masson players, they're walking back with their heads down. I mean, they really do just seriously have a look what's going on here. And, and we did mention at the start of the game about Masson's poor percentage. This is definitely not going to help that not at all. Not at all. So it's eight goals, 5.53. Romsey leading Masson, 2 8 20. We played 11 minutes into the third quarter. Look, it's only five and a half goals, but when you kick only two for the first half, but two and a half quarters. And one was the Joe the Goose, yeah. and, and Noxy had a shot. I mean, really, they haven't had anything clean coming no. to their forward line at all. So Massad versus Dyer again. Ball goes up. One, one down by Massad, but it's taken there by Smedley. Swung around. Handball's intercepted by Burkett, who drops the ball. Comes out via Massad. Back to Burkett. Great clearance there from Romsey Jed with the left Wobb. foot. Looking for Ray, what, Raymond. Raymond again. Raymond. No, surely he's, he's paid that mark. He yes. And he's going for his sixth. If he, does, if he doesn't get the three votes today, it, I don't know football. Nath Raymond, 45 out. Almost straight in front. Oh, gives the chip off to Darcy Lockins. Darcy Lockins here. That's unselfish from Raymond. He's had a great day. Still doing the team things. Well done, old man. The Darcy Lockins, second uh, leading goal kicker for Romsey this season. First season back, in, uh, back at Romsey. First season in senior football as well. So it's been a great return from the young man. In comes Lockins. Be 35, maybe 40 out by the time he kicks it. Straight in front. Sends it on its way. Umpire shifts to his right. He's missed the kick. Be disappointed there, Darcy. So it takes Romsey to 8 6 54. Uh, leading Macedon 2 6 2 8 20. Balls 12 and a half minutes gone. Balls brought back in. Bags handballs off, but it's a poor handball. They're tapping along the ground. They're making it really hard work because the forward pressure from Romsey has picked up enormously here at the moment. And, the, and Romsey midfield is now starting it on top. We'd mentioned in the first half that no midfield was on top. This quarter, it's all been Romsey midfield. Absolutely. Umpire's going to throw it back in, right in front of the scoreboard. Good mullets going up in the air, tapped over the back, looking down here for Purcell. Handball's into the middle of the ground, looking for DeHuss. Has a flying shot for goal. Jedwab taps it down, trying to keep to advantage. Cats have got numbers. Jedwab still fighting away. Kicks it out. Nath Raymond again pops it up. That's six goals. You can't get better than that on a day like this. Six goals from a midfielder. That is a... Hang on, hang on. No, the umpires... Oh, we thought about... Yep, no, he's paid it. They, they go to the arc, did they? <laughs> the arc, arc is, is called the guess here. So, well done. Nath Raymond, that was really good play. Jeez, uh, he's absolutely uh, smashing look, play, isn't he? Look, that, 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 that finished off by Raymond there, but Jack was on four Macedon players there, yep. and he didn't give up. 
the, almost at the mark in the goal square, kept it alive, gave the little toe poke out, which found Raymond. Yeah. So that's a great cohesive um, forward working there. It looks like Braden Maynard done him yeah. with that haircut. I mean, that's to be honest. I think, yeah, and look, he has the same attitude as Braden Maynard sure. on the footy field. He does not take a backward step. He, he's in. He's, he's in got white line fever. You meet him. You meet him off the ground. He's the nicest, quietest bloke in the world. He's in for a on the ground. You don't want to be anywhere mate. near him. Pertzal on again. Another Ray clearance from Romsey. No. Spoiled by Brinkhouse. Ball comes down. Great tackle by De Haas looking for Toby Sims. Toby Sims versus Sankey here. Sims gets it, but Brinkhouse up again. Swings around the left foot. Look oh, for Raymond. Raymond again. Having an absolute day out, Nathan Raymond. Oh, he's oh, got the play on now. Now jams it on Popped the right boot. has gone straight up high. No. He's got a hook around. Got across. Yeah, he tried to do the team thing again there, Nath. Tried to look for the inside ball. He's got called to play on. You've got six goals. You're excused if you don't do the team thing. 9 you're 7 on fire. 61, leading Macedon 2 8 20. 14 and a half yeah. minutes gone. Jason Cook takes the ball in from the, for the kick in. Kicks out long, looking for a marking contest, and that's a good one down there by Leo Webb. Webb plays on in the middle of the ground, looking down there for Bullis, who's dropped the mark he should have taken. Ali Khalil's all over him. The pressure from Romsey is enormous. Purcell picks up, he's well tackled, and the umpire's going to pay him a free kick. Plays on the middle of the ground. Now there's a switch. Oh, no, hang on, he's going to bring him back. Corey Pertle, he's been, he's had a really good day as well. Into the mid, uh, wide. Calling him up. No players are really leading for him. Very stagnant at the moment, just slowing down. Khalil made the, made the option, has taken the mark. Now plays on, one way then the other. Handball's over the top, looking down there for Sam Wilson. Kicks the ball long, but it's well taken in defence and a good intercept mark by the Cats. Yeah, Joel De Haas is not the target no. you want to be kicking to every set. He's that no. vertically challenged, I think, De Haas. Bags. Picks it up, takes it into the middle of the ground. And there's an opportunity then. Comes out here down to Aaron Morham. Looking down for a marking tongue test. It's not a great one. Looking for Hay. He's a bit short to be doing that. Popping it on his head. One way there. There's two Romsey players, but young Lockie Hay's done really well. Oh, he's well taken. Yeah, he's going to get a free kick, kick yeah. here. Held on the tackle way too that's long Declan there. Declan Filan is going to get the kick. And he has been absolutely super quiet today. Yeah. Look, he, well, I think, what, Filan, he, he had a good second quarter, yeah. but... but on the goal front, yes, very, very quiet, well, as, as the whole team has been. Well, they've only kicked the two, so yeah. they need it. But Jackson Kinnear, they just hold on way too long in that tackle. Good play by young Lockie Hay, too. I mean, he fought really yeah. hard for a young 17-year-old kid who's not much of him. Yeah, he's playing against another 17-year-old kid in Judd Radmaker. And then, but then when he was 2-on-1, he did well to hold his nerve. So, well done there. So, Phelan does his little skips, an unusual running style. Leans back, pops it up high. The umpire has not moved one bit, and there's a first goal for the, and a much needed goal for the Cats to Declan Filan. So that takes Macedon, who are trailing comfortably, or trailing or a fair bit at the moment, 61 to 28, and they to say they needed that is an understatement. Yeah, look, but look, it, it came through the middle of the ground. The, the option to go out to Hay probably wasn't yeah. ideal, but Hay fought and fought and fought for that ball. Uh, eventually, Filan got over there to help him out. So it's 9 goals, 7.61, Romsey leading Macedon, 3.8.26, and what can only be a little bit disappointing for the Cats at the moment. Yes, depends on which supporter group you're part of, I suppose, if you're disappointed well, or not. But you're, you're having... You. So Brinkhouse back in the ruck versus Dyer. One down by Dyer to Hoyn, who's wrapped up immediately there by Di Pietro. Well, Brinkhouse looks a little sore. He's racked all day, tirelessly. Yeah. He's been terrific for them. I don't think you're allowed to say sore in that Brinkhouse household. Throws it Less up again. fit is what it's called back there. Dyer just punches it forward. Opportunity down here to De Petro, who's been really busy with the ball. Taken out wide, and they're just working hard numbers. File and taps it forward, but the numbers are down here through Kinnear. Picks it up for the cat, uh, for the Redbacks, kicks into the wing. Ball hits the deck, and that's Dyer again, the big ruckman. He's working really hard down there. Oh, he's been dropped the ball. Yep, that is as cold as you're going to get. Yeah, I think Wilson Point. was trying to play for the holding the man free Point kick. Point kicks long, looking down there for Knox. Ball hits a deck, it bounced off his chest. Kicked out of defence by the Redbacks, and that's a good mark taken out wide down there by Wilson. Wilson takes off, kicks out, looking down here for De Haas. And the ball goes out of Beno. De Haas has taken the mark. That's uh, De Petro. De Petro. On his right, kicks long down, looking to scoreboard end, looking for Jeb Bob, and Jeb Bob's worked underneath the footy. And the Cats have taken the mark in defence. So Goff has it for Macedon, sends it back in their direction, but it's intercepted well there by Raymond. Raymond on the ball now, sends the ball forward, looking for Blair at the back. Blair flies high, takes the mark. Good second grab there, Nathan Blair. 
So Raymond, they're doing, the ball, doing it in the midfield now. They've had nothing but forward. Kick him out, they said. Give it all to Jack. And then Nathan, Raymond, uh, Nathan Blair pops up. So Blair, he'll be 45 so out, but deep in that pocket go, again. There's one, two, three, four, five Macedon players sitting in the goal square. All on Jeb Lob to give him absolutely yeah. no room to go. Yeah. So and if there's five Macedon players down there, there should be a bucket load of Romsey players standing around doing with no one on. Yeah, but Darcy Lockins yeah. is by himself. You've got, you've got Kel Sankey sitting out there by himself. Matty Milburn's just yeah. wandering into the forward 50, but so, they're all setting up the wall too. So that's that's well structured there. Blair comes in, kicks off to the right-hand side. That'd be 9-8-62, leading Macedon 3-8-26. She was a shallow wall when you're only 25 out from goal, though. Yeah. So in come the Cats. They're going to bring it back in. They're going to kick it out scoreboard side where all the play seems to be today. Ball's taken out there, down there by Smedley. No, it's not. It's Leo Webb. Webb kicks the ball long, but it's all Romsey. Ball pops out. An opportunity now. And there's bad handball, and we're going to get it thrown in on centre wing. Tassari's been very good for the Romsey defence today. He's been all over Jason Cook. Like, the only time Cook got anywhere near it was when he put himself on the ball. Yep. But Tassari's just been very, very well uh, staunch down there in defence. So, ball thrown in on outer side wing. Dyer gets the front and taps it down. But just a nest of players... Cook legs it behind, picked up by Adamson, handballed off to a Khalil. Khalil runs himself in a bit of trouble, drops the ball and then calls for the head. It's when you grab the head on the way through, you're yeah. going to get a free kick because the umpires will fall for that one. Yeah, so Khalil has the ball, right half forward flank, assesses his oh, options. Comes in board for Jed Wobb, finally got some space. Yeah. He doesn't drop those ones. Hang on, the umpires, what's he doing here? There's, another, there's still more push and shove on the outer wing. We'll be careful, Romsey, you could lose this one. It's Di Pietro, I believe, out yeah. there. But Jedwob has his first real shot here. It was a league's leading goal kicker. And He's kicked 17 in the last two weeks. If he hasn't gone back 40 metres, this is a Benny Brown runner. Hey, got to get as much screen time as he needs, Jack. Let him go. With those boots. Lucky we've got sunglasses on because they'll blind us, those bright orange boots. Mate, you and I would get tired walking in for the kick. I'm getting tired calling, I'll tell you that much. In comes Jedwob. As he starts his stroll in now, gets on a little bit of a jog, and he comes, sends it high. Umpire has not moved one inch. Just watch that ball go flying over his head. So that's Jack's first for the day, and that is Romsey's 10th. That takes them out yeah. to a 42-point lead. 10-8-68, plays 3-8-26. The fat lady 26. Is, is singing very loudly. They can't come back from this one, and this is really going to hurt the Cats because they needed a confidence win. And Romsey haven't been too far from them. To go one point down, and we saw Romsey Wood End last time here, Wood End smashed them. To go down one point at the Gilden Gordon over, over in Wood End is a really, really good performance, and they've got a bit of form. I mean, they've got some new younger players in here who are just they're red hot at the moment. They're going really well. And I think Brinkhouse is moving to the ruck in that game Absolutely. against Wallen has been a huge important because he just he's just a workhorse. Hoyne kicks the ball forward, up over the top, Cook's just smothered. Knox gets the ball one way there, and he's going to be pinged for holding the ball, but they said he's got rid of it. Ball comes out now to down here by Newham, handball out, looking down here for Kinnear, and he's well tackled. And we're going to have a throw up right on the 50 metre mark, catching an attack. That was Nathan Tassari again. I mentioned him just before about the leader of the back line. He's just been everywhere today. So in the ruck, who we're going to have? We're going to have Jax Kinnear up and Sam, Sam Indian. Yep. One Kinnear down by Kinnear. Down. Kinnear follows it up. Khalil kicks out of fresh air. Wilson works over. He gives the handball off to Khalil. Khalil goes back into traffic, gives it off to Massad. Massad delays the handball beautifully for Wilson there. Wilson off the inside of the boot is a shank, but it goes to Lockins somehow. Lockins with a beautiful kick inboard to Pertzel. Oh, oh unlucky bounce. Jack Chep Jedwob switched on it, sends it out wide to Blair, misses him with the handball. Follows back up though. Tapped up beautifully there by Goff. Ball is eventually turned over there to Leo Webb. Ball goes over the top of oh, Dylan Johnston. Beautiful body work. I thought he'd lost contact to the ball. Oh, he's Gave the oh, shift, he's but then gone. he's been tackled beautifully by Lukey Newnham. Yep. That was a silly, silly and, play by Johnston. And he's letting him know all about it. Lukey Newnham goes inside and finds Rademacher right in the middle of the ground. So Rademacher sends it forward on that left boot. Looking for Lockins. Lockins jumps. Jumped early. I thought he was uh, interfered with there by Bridgeland. Ball comes out wide. Smedley marks just inside the boundary line. Chipped over the top, but has oh, been intercepted key. well by Massad. 
Massad with the ball, the big ruckman. There's players on in short for him. He's just going to kick down the line. Looking down there for Jed Wobb, who's got the height. Ball hits the deck. Down there is uh, Corey Perth on. We're going to have a He's going to throw it in right in front of the coach's box. Justin Sherman there, screaming instructions to the players to get back. We've got to give it to Will Gray again for the oh. job he's done on Jack Jedwab. Just been everywhere. You're not giving Jack yeah. a, just one millimetre of space. And we're going to get another throw in right there, smack in front of the coach's box again. And they've brought on the red hot Nath Raymond back onto the ground. Yeah. So, And he runs straight down yeah. for the 60 and aim. Why not go for seven? No, nah, he'll come in through the stoppage. Well, it's a poor throw. He actually threw it out of bounds. And we're going to have a throw in. I'm not sure how that works when the umpire throws it out of bounds, but we'll have a ball in this time. So we can trust Ryan Monaghan here for the big throw in. No, that boy's going to throw, yep. Yep, throw it in. So it'll be Zach Massad versus Jordan Dyer. Left forward flank for Romsey. Massad has front position. Taps it forward down to Jed Wobb. Jed Wobb's work, trying to work his way through the pack. Ball spills out. And he's tackled oh. right on the three quarter time siren. There, and Romsey are leading 10 8, 68 to Macedon, 3 8, 26. 25 minute quarter. Yeah, absolute dominant quarter. So that, quarter yeah, look, Justin Sherman's going to be very happy with that quarter. Defence did not let up at all. Midfield got right on top. Jack Jedward finally got some space. They're all over this. And, and look, here we've got Hamish Govan here. He's dressed in his, in his street clothes now. He's, he's obviously done for the day, limping badly. Yeah, that looks like yeah. a hamstring to me. Yeah, so you know, there's, there's not done a lot of positives. Whilst you're away, there was a very, very serious injury. I tore my calf muscle and I was in all sorts of strife. But you would be not pleased to know that I soldiered on. But I, under, I can see that limp as a man with a muscle injury now. That that is a hamstring. So when I was had me knee arthroscope and yeah, I was I was I was in crutches and couldn't climb up my stairs and you gave it to me all day long. Yeah, you well, you have a little twing in the calf. Wasn't a little twing. Oh, here we go. I went down like I was shot, mate, and it was like a big turtle <laughs> laying on the ground, and no one was everyone was in tears of laughter. I thought it was hilarious. I hope someone got it on film and can send it to me. Oh, look, look, there's. Let's get back to the game here. They're disappointing Macedon today. Well, we've seen them a couple of times throughout the year. Though. I mean, they were disappointing against Riddle early on. You're right, they've gone back to what they were doing in the first yeah. round. Yeah. But they were really good. Um, when we watched them play, I think it was Diggers. They were, I mean, they got beat, but they were still really competitive. But this is disappointing. And it's more the way it's happening. I mean, they're just getting blown away. I mean, well, you know, no one can stop Nathan Raymond at the moment. Jeb Bob's been a wild how did you hit it? But, you know, you look at Corey Purcell has had an enormous amount of... Brinkhouse rucking. He's all over. I mean, in the, he's, it's not dominant, but he's there all day and he's competing. And when the ball hits the deck, that's when he's standing up and coming uh, and really comes. Because his second efforts are enormous. His pressure on the ball carry is good. Justin will be absolutely thrilled with the way this is um, panning. They're, they're hitting some good form, but they still, they're still out of the finals. They've got to get back yep. in. This will bring them up back level with points and they're all over. So they'll sneak back into five with this one. Yeah, and look, as we mentioned um, earlier, Declan Filan kicked six against Romsey in the last encounter. They easily accounted for Romsey when Romsey were the red-hot favourites. So they would have come in here full of confidence, coming off, off three straight wins, Macedon. So there was, they had everything going for them to win this game, but they just haven't shown up after no. quarter time pretty much. So, so with this win today, the way they're looking, this will, this will push, push Romsey into the finals and, and push Macedon out. And the next few weeks, just trying to find the draw, how this is going to... Uh, pan out for them. If you can find the draw better than I can through the footy record, you're doing, doing well. Um, but it gives, it, Rumsey have given themselves a real shot and they're going to come in with a real chance now. Um, and they're going to cause a little bit of, ha if they can, can maintain this form, a little bit of havoc. And obviously they're in form and they pushed one end to a point last week over there. And the next few weeks they've picked up so, so, so to finish the season off, they've got a big, a huge game next week against Diggers. That'll and, be and, and Diggers are out of form. We had yeah. them last week. They look slow and tired. But they had to lose one through They didn't have to yeah. lose one, but that was one they could afford. Like Riddle, Riddle to the form yeah. side. Watch yeah. out. Yeah. Here come the Bombers and, again. And look, we, we said, we've been saying that all season. About, we've been sort of disappointed with the Riddle. We had seen it, and they slowly started to build about halfway. To, but look, Diggers are coming off a game against the Western yeah. Rams today. So that's going to be an absolute maul. That'll so, get them switched right back on. So I mean, Masson have got next week the Rams. So there's a comfortable yeah. one for them. Masson have the Rams. But then... The last game of the, the last round of the finals, Romsey play Lansfield. It's always a huge game yep. between those two, and that's going to make or break Romsey's season here. Yeah, you would and think. Macedon will play Woodend Heskett, which is Woodend's the second, third best, top three team in the comp. So Macedon. So, so you would think if you look at percentages, Macedon should be able to build some good percentage next week. Um, Diggers will probably Diggers Romsey will be a cracker. Um, 
you well, would expect Diggers to win, down at Diggers, but they looked really ordinary last week. Um, but, you know, I mean, they've got a week off this week. Or, no, they've got uh, the, rest, the Rams. The Rams so. so they'll be wrestling a few and they'll probably rebuild from there. So it's going to come down to the last round between these two sides who's going to win uh, to get into the finals. I mean, um, when we, when would, we have would, a series... Would, would inverse Macedon. That would be an absolute cracker yeah, in the yeah. last game. You would have to say Wallen the draw, draw fa- fancies... Um, Romsey. Draw fancies Romsey a little bit here with having Lansfield in the last round. Lansfield are going really well. They don't deserve to be second bottom by any stretch of imagination. So, I mean, you're right, it was always a tough game. It was the 150th last time up there, or 100th year, whatever it was, for the yeah. Lansfield that we had last time. And, look, um, and just speaking on that, we'll just quickly run around the scores that are on, on the game day app at the moment. So, remembering we're half an hour, or at least ahead of everyone else, yeah, so tonight. Western Rams, 3 2 20, trailing Diggers Rest, 9 10 64. Yep. That's a good effort so from, from the Rams so far. That'd be that quarter time. Quarter time, maybe yeah. half time ish. Um, Lansfield, 2 6 18, uh, li- trailing Wallen, 4 10 34. Okay, so that's at a Lansfield slot. Park. Yep, yep. And then Riddle and Melton Central's at Riddle Reserve, 3 2 20 apiece. Yeah, well, Mount so, Central's yeah, and, and look, a bit of drama. We, and this is what it's all going to come down to. Now, with, with Romsey, what is it, seven goals up mm-hmm. in the last quarter, they now hold the fate of their season in their hands. Well, it's going to come down with to With Macedon last. losing today, th- their fate result, re- relies on other people's results because of their yeah. p- poor percentage. And that's you never want to be in that position with two rounds to go. No, and... Yeah, full credit to Romsey. They're playing good footy. And, and look, we're in for a really exciting next three weeks of, of footy. I mean, I'd love to be the last round. I'm not sure who we're broadcasting, but I hope it's, a, hope it's that wood end game. That'll be a ripper to see. And uh, um, But it's really important here today for the Romsey team and their young side. They're going to get a lot of confidence out of this. And not so much the win, but the way they're playing their footy. Look, look, next week we... Yeah, we probably said Romsey and um, We're at Wallen next D- week, Diggins we? Diggers a match of the round. Yeah, we've got Wallen versus Wood End. That ain't gonna. That's not, that's not gonna be no no walk in the park for either team. No. And in the last round, we're commentating Riddle versus Wallen. Absolute cracking two games that to finish be. for us. At so at Riddle at yeah. Riddle. So hard to um, beat. And coming into finals, Riddle are hitting some form. And I mean, it doesn't show today on the scoreboard, but oh, but again, we're, again, that could be quarter time scores. Yeah. So. We're, we're, we're only doing what we can with, with the, you know, the early start here. And the reason we have the early start is because of tonight's event with the women's grand final that we're, we're going to straight from here. Yeah, no, so, so that gives the Macedon crowd the time to get back to there to support them as well. So make the effort, everyone, to get down to see the girls tonight. It'll be an absolute cracker. The first grand final. It's history making for you guys. Yeah, well, anyway, yeah I, I, make, so I make history every time I call Paul. Don't worry about that. Yeah, for the wrong reasons. But anyway, they... So, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, getting in there on the, on the stage there, provided by Event Stage Hire. Um, thank them so much for all the, all the work they've done so out there. F- found the business card. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting out there, calling from Sutton. Wood End's a beautiful place. Just We've had tr- trouble in the past with the, with the internet. We've been told that's all been sorted now, so I really look forward to tonight. So poor old Jacob Goff's been given the job to sit on Nath Raymond at the moment, who's got six goals for a midfielder and, and has been absolutely dominant. Best player on the ground by an absolute mile today. So the big ruckman, Jordan Dwyer, has got a big job on his hands here. Try and get Macedon back in. Up it goes. Dwyer taps it down. Ball hits a deck. Players just pile in on top of it, and I think we're going to have another throw up. We are right dead smack in the middle of the ground. Yeah, it looks like you did mention that um, Kane Brinkhouse looked a bit sore. It looks yeah. like Zach Massard's taking the ruck to start the quarter. Up it goes again. Dwight with his big body just pushes him out the way. Picked up there by Hoyne. Ball's run out. Tried to kick off his massage. Tried to kick it off the ground. Falls back on top of it, and they pile on top of it, and he's been pinged for holding the ball. Yeah, he can't drag Filing. the ball in. Plays on quickly, and that's what they got to do. He just kicks it long and high, though. It's no one's advantage. Knox is under the ball. Ball's punched clear. Ball hits the day out there. Sal Pietro's fighting hard on the bottom of the pack. And the umpire's going to ball it up. But the Cats have got it in their forward line and gives themselves an opportunity. I think that might have been someone else, Paul, because Sal Pietro just ran past us in his street clothes. So oh, he's he? off as well. So oh, Sorry, mate. He's got the long but, sleeves. We're yeah. having it on, so we've swapped it into him. So now comes via Khalil. Sends it out from defensive 50, looking for Blair on centre wing. Ball go over the back. Good contest here. Oh, Jared Ball is too strong. Gets past Blair. Jordan Dyer too big to, for Darcy Lockett's handballs out to Webb. Goes back to Kernan, who's playing in defence now. Gets through two. Goes off to... Goff sends oh. it inside, who just sends it straight Raymond's to Ball, who's just absolutely eaten alive by Nath Raymond there. So he has just got a hunger for the ball today. So this is the diff- press, the Romsey press. They get nowhere to go, Cats. So every time they get the ball, they're just getting tackled. So Massad versus Dyer. Massad gets from position, but locked down by Dyer. Straight to Sims, who's tackled well by Raymond. Picked up by Johnston, who takes away from the, pack, from the stoppage. Two bounces on the left, sends it high, looking for Cook. Out the back to Sari again with another ball, but... 
Front and centre crumb was nice, but just couldn't quite finish it so off. That was Brady Hoyne who got front and centre. So it was 3 9 27, Macedon trailing Romsey 10 8 68. You remember because it's poor kicking. It's actually the enormous pressure they're putting yeah. on, on the ball carrier. Oh, look, that, that was is. great front and centre roving by Hoyne, but he had someone right in his hammer. Like, didn't have a chance to settle up there. So Khalil with the ball. Oh, goes to play on short. He's going to get caught with you. Kicks it short into the pocket. Finds Tassari. So Tassari. Looking, he's just going to kick it down the line to play safe, I'd say. Looking down here now for Adamson. Adamson picks, takes the mark right in front of the coach. Good way, place to do it. On his left, brings it into the middle of the ground and hits up the big ruckman in Massad. Left foot or two for the big fella. Pops up high, looking for Blair. Ball goes over the back and it's well taken. Blair handballs off, picks it back up. Down to here to Purcell, takes the mark out in the wing. Jed Wobbs called for it short, but it's going. This Blair is taking it he's again. He's got the young Milburn in the forward fifth if he wants him. There's plenty of lead options around. He's, I reckon he'll go short here. And he has. He's looking for an option up Why there. Why wouldn't Why you? Not? Why Nath would Raymond you? again. <laughs> Have a shot, Nath. Nath Raymond being an absolute superstar today. Oh, that is that is a cracking. That is a cracking Look at Absolute. That. Chips it up. And you know, the best thing, his son has the same haircut. So he goes off to Matty Milburn in his first game. Milburn just chips up, looking for Jed Wobb. Oh, oh through his hands. It was a perfect kick there for Jed Wobb. Dyer gets the ball up, sends it back. Two on one. Sam Indian all alone. Takes the mark. Indian assesses his options. Sends it forward high. Romsey have the numbers here. Three on one. Oh, great sport from back from Tassari. Comes down, Knox. rode by Knox. Handballs forward. No one there except Khalil. Gives out to Massad. Massad runs through the stop. He's got back to Tassari. Goes backwards to Khalil. Khalil has it, goes across the ground, finds Wilson. Wilson, who's been on that wing today, one bounce, sends it forward, looking for Raymond again. Beautiful mark, Nath Raymond. Swings around, both feet, look at that left foot, finds Jed Wobb perfectly. Jed Wobb will line up from 40 out. And cops one around the years just to, just to keep him going. Jed Wobb. Can he? Yes. Can he, will he? No, he can, will he? Look, I'm going to give it to him. I'll give it to him. Why not? Absolutely, why not? Jack Jebwob. Only kicked the one for the day. 52 for the season now. You know that because you bleed red and black. Only way to be. Shocking. And he comes. If it was a bombers, it'd be a different story. Jebwob pops up high. Nah, Umpire moves narrow. to the left, to the right, and there's a point. That takes oh. Romsey to 10 9 69. Leading Macedon, 3-9-27. Ball's chipped out, finds Bullis. Left back pocket. Jared Bullis. Assesses the options, there's no one. He's been called to play on now. Sends it wide and has found Morham right in the chest. Aaron Morham. Chips it up further. Smiley flies early, gets the spot. Oh, but well roved there by Zach Bags. Sends it towards Cook. Cook takes the mark out the back. First time really he's had, he's had some space from Tassari. Need a captain's goal here from him. He's going to try the exact same Ooh, as Nate there. Raymond does. Wheels around that right boot and what a kick. Well done, Jason, Jason Cook. Cook. Still got it. I know you said he was old and past it, but he still got it. I never said you that. You said it. It was on tape. Cam told me he put it in the highlight reel. Well, no paycheck for Cam next week <laughs> if that one goes online. No, Jason Cook, very, very, very talented football. And look at his dad running the water out to him as well. President of the club. Water carrier. Just, they just do it all the cooks, don't they? Younger brother played earlier in the season, was playing really well too in his brother's number. Did he confused me. Shoulder. Yeah, he did too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he his brother's number while. had me all confused. I didn't know who was go what was going on. But I, I've been told I'm very easily confused. So, so Dyer. He's worked hard for the Cats, but without a lot of reward today. Tap down. Picked up down there by Moreham, who drives the ball forward for another opportunity. Cooks in front, hits the, hits the skids. Ball goes over the back. Taken down there by Smiley. And a bound handball through and a nice way of uh, holding up and, and stopping a goal for him. And look, that was Cook again. You know, he, felt, he hardly out, got the terminal bounce, fell on it back up, yeah. kept the pressure on the Romsey forward. So. so Khalil kicks out wide. Ball's going to be brought back into the middle, looking down here for Burkett. Takes the mark, switches out wide, looking out here for Adamson, and he takes the mark. No, ball hits the deck, good pressure. Oh, Corey Purcell, head down Nathan over Nathan Blair. Blair, was it? 
Yeah. Out to Ali Khalil, picks it up, kicks long, looking down for Jedwab. Those sticky fingers, and he's going to be paid the mark. Smedley's kidding himself, he thinks he got that out. But he's taken three, three metres off the mark, though. Mr. One-Eye. Jack Jedwab sends the ball forward, looking for Raymond. At the back, Kane Brinkhouse. Oh, oh he's, he's just taken out Raymond, and he's... He smashed and up. Leo Webb split the pack to Kane Brinkhouse. But Bags has it set a half back, sends it out wide. Spore over the back from Sims. Comes out the back to Judd Rademacher on that left foot. Oh, didn't quite get the purchase on it. And it's marked by Bridgeland. Nathan Bridgeland, right half back flank. He's been a bit of a uh, thorn in their side, Bridgeland, today. He's upset a few. Yeah. Most of the fights have got him in the middle of it. So he sends it out wide to centre wing. Oh, good job. Oh, jump. good spoil there from Kinnear, but doesn't go out. Somehow it stayed in and has gone Macedon's way an extra 25 metres. So it's seven and a half minutes gone. Romsey leading 10 9 69 to Macedon 4 10 34. Umpire Thro throws it in. Indian taps it down, and I'm about to tap out. And we're going to give it over to Gav, who's come here. To help us out. Thanks, Gav, and thanks everyone. I'm bailing out for the game. See you, Paul. Off you go. See you next week. Judd Rademacher picks the ball up, sends it forward, but it's marked there by Zach Bags. Zach Bags has it. Center half forward for Macedon. Chips it inside. Oh, sport at the back from Braden Smiley was huge. Comes down to Borum. Tackled well there by Khalil, but Fylan wheels around the left boot. Small, it's, it's spoiled and been wrapped up well by Toby Sims. Gav, thanks for jumping in here, mate. Appreciate your help. You're very welcome, mate. Very welcome. It's, uh, I went. I did go to the wrong ground. I will say that. I went to Macedon, so <laughs> apologies. So the ball comes down and Knox is wrapped up. I'm pretty Ali sure Khalil you told me it was instantly. Macedon. The ball's thrown up. Matt Knox has the front position. Ball gets tapped down. Dylan Johnson's wrapped up by Di Pietro, who's just been everywhere today. Yeah, listen to the call on the way down. It's um, Romsey's been really, really impressive. Yeah, they, by the look, of it, they, so. they have. And look, as we mentioned multiple times in the call, the first half, the midfield was very even, but the third quarter, Romsey midfield got on top and that's sort of blown the game apart. So we're in the right forward pocket here for Masson. Ball goes up again. One down by Massad at the back. Ball smothered off Knox. Comes out via Darcy Lockins. Sends the ball forward. Nath Blair can't, can't secure the mark. He's just laying on top of it and Jack Kernan's got hold of him. The umpire says, I'll have it, thanks. Right on the 50. Ball goes up. Well done there by Sam Indian. Comes down. Lockie Hay. The, the, Lockie Hay and Brody Hoyne are fighting for the same ball there. <laughs> we'll have another repeat stoppage here. Starting to come out. The fizz starting to come out of this game a little bit here. Not long to go. Ball spud out there towards uh, Burkett. Keeps it going forward. But it's all Macedon here. Picked up by Kernan. Turns around. Sends it high towards the 50. Oh, at the back. Thought it could have been a push in the back to the free kick. But Toby Sims swings around. Is missed to the right-hand side. Taking Macedon to 4 11 35. Trailing Romsey 10 9 69. Big ramifications in this game, though. The, the win or loss. And it's um, it's been a... <laughs> By what I've seen and, and what I've listened to you guys, it's been a pretty disappointing performance from the Cats. They they really should have uh, should have been further into this game, uh, and uh, Romsey's just seemed to outplay them completely. Yeah, and we mentioned a few times during the call that this is reminding us of the Macedon from the start of the season. They just weren't quite sure what to do. You know, they were in bits and pieces, fits and spurts. But then the second half of the season for Macedon has been so solid that this just come out of nowhere as they, they played on he's fumbled in the goal square but he's recovered plenty of time to recover onto the right boot and that is a goal to Lachlan Hay uh, a couple of late consolation goals here so far for the Cats and maybe they can make the scoreboard look a little bit prettier in the last 10-12 yeah, minutes and they really need to because we mentioned earlier that their percentage is so poor that they have to rely on games won they can't rely on their percentage so they keep getting they, they can't get blown away because they can't make it any worse they just have to try and stay involved because next week, you know, I think they've got your mob next week, don't they? I think oh, possibly, yeah. yeah. And so that they need they need to start fighting back really, really quickly. Oh, look, they're not completely out of the game if we have a look at it, though. I mean, we're it, 11 and a half minutes in. They're, what, 28 points down. Yeah. They, you know, yeah, we've seen stranger things. And we have, and, and Romsey has been involved in quite a few momentum swings this season, and I'm pretty sure that's one of the things Justin Sherman would have been ro uh, drilling into them at three-quarter time. 
Oh, he's been called for a throw here. Ali Khalil sent half back. Should be 52 just quietly. Yeah, yeah, should have been. Uh, uh, Lachlan Hay will have this. We mentioned earlier that he's a commentator's delight with the blonde top, uh, blonde tip curls and L the, the long, long sleeve. sleeve. Yeah, he stands out, <laughs> yeah. doesn't he? So, Need more players like that. Yes, got to get original. So in comes Hay, sends it deep into the forward pocket, but it's over the top of Cook. Spot at the back by Tassari, and he's wrapped up immediately there, right in front of the under-19s, who will be giving Macedon every piece of advice they want or they don't want. It's not going to matter. They're going to get it. I'm not sure they'll be given much <laughs> they want. Rux will go at it again. Ball will come down. Knox tries to pick that up. Di Pietro just, or Pertzel, sorry, comes swinging through. He's wrapped up, though. Played on automatically around the body. Cook has kicked I his second. I think Cook's kicked his second, yes. And now this makes it a, a very, very interesting as uh, the Cats move on to 6-11-47. And uh, Romsey just, just the, they, you said the sting had come out of the game a little bit and Romsey had flattened out. But uh, I tell you what, if the Cats kick one more here, she's going to get very interesting. Yeah, and I, you can see Justin Sherman pacing on the on the boundary line because, as I just mentioned, you know, there's been quite a few momentum swings against Romsey this season where teams have piled on five, four, five, six quick ones and they cannot afford to do this because this will end their season if that's what happens. So the ball will be brought back to the centre. It'll be Massad versus Dyer. Dyer has the superior leap here. This time he waits down. Ball comes out via Hoyne. Out the back, Pertzel gets on Bridgeland. Comes down to Hay, ducks his head into the contest, and he's wrapped up immediately by three, four Romsey players. And the umpire says, I'll have it out on the outer side wing. Massad versus Dyer. Massad taps it forward. And it's been a Romsey free kick here for in the back, and it's going to Joel Haas. But De Haas swings around with the right foot looking for Sam Wilson. Oh, great Beautiful, hands man. from Sam Wilson. Probably being the second or third best player on the ground today. Ball goes further out again to Jax Kinnear. Kinnear pops it forward again, but it's a shocking kick. And he's gone out of bounds. That ball did not even spin once, I don't think. Now you have those sometimes. That's, yeah. that's, oh. called, a, that's called a clever kick. Yeah. It, it <laughs> takes some time off the clock. Game, game 15 metres will take territory. <laughs> so we thrown in here, right in front of the Macedon coach's box. It's a beautiful throw in too. Tap down by Dyer towards the Haas. Leaves it behind. Burkett shovels the ball out to Khalil. Khalil handballs to Raymond. Raymond on the left boot. Was intercepted by, by Johnston. Escapes the Haas tackle. Goes to Smedley. Inside to Sims. Wrapped up beautifully there by Pertel. Given lots of time to get rid of it. He does that. Comes out the back by Indian. Leaves it behind. Pertel picks it up. Jams it on the boot dangerously to the middle of the ground. And here goes Gray who's played well on Jedwab today. Handballs ball out towards Nathan Bridgeland on the wing. Great contest by Judd Rademacher. Knocks him off the ball. Comes back to Gray, who continued working. Out to Hay. Back to Bridgeland. It's written hard into the ground there by Jed Wobb. And that'll be a free kick. Going to Nathan Bridgeland. He's very, very slow to get up. Yeah, a bit ginger. I liked the umpiring out here, with allowing the players to actually get the footy out. Didn't over umpire it. Uh, umpire it. Let the game flow. I like it. It, it definitely was a contrast to early in the game where they were very quick to whistle. Oh, it's this dangerous kick to switch the ball here. Jack Curtin over to Haas. Comes out the back to Smedley, who's all alone. Wilson does very well oh, again. He He's thrown that in the air. He's got to be paid. No. Burkett dives on top, and Smedley dives on top of him. And the umpire says, I'll have it. Yeah, I think the umpire might have been a little bit blindsided on that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think very, very lucky for Sam Wilson there. Rux will go at it again. Important here for Macedon to get the next one and quickly. As uh, coming through is Wilson. He's wrapped up quickly and we'll have another bounce. Another stoppage here on centre wing. As the Cats could be very interesting if they get the next one. Yeah, it's still, it's still every quarter's been up for about 25 minutes, so it's still probably 10 minutes to go. Ball Plenty get, of time. Ball gets thumped out towards the wing. Picked up here by Hildebrand. Ball's fed backwards. It comes out to Johnston. He goes high, up and under towards half forward. Players will fly, but it'll be knocked out of bounds and we'll have another throw in. Can the Cats break this little arm wrestle we have here at the moment? Stoppage after stoppage. Ball gets punched towards the boundary line again. It's just uh, the old aerial ping pong in there as they dive on top and we'll have another bounce. Yeah, look, this is this is suiting Romsey here. They just take a little bit of the sting out of the momentum from the Cats, but they're still just gaining little inch by inch. The ball comes down. 
via Raymond, sends it forward, looking for Nathan Blair, dives for it, can't quite pick it up, taken there by Blake, inside ball to Bullis, Bullis sends the ball back inside 50 for Macedon, out the back was Goff who couldn't bend over, Just pulled up very ginger, but Ali Khalil tries to track the ball out of bounds, gets what he was after. Macedon players call for the deliberate, but it's going nowhere. Yeah, then you're not going to get that as deliberate. <laughs> <laughs> you can call for it, though. You can. We, we give them more credit for calling for it. The ball is in the left forward pocket here for Macedon. Crucial contest in the ruck. One down by Dyer, goes straight down forward. Well down out there by Horn, gives out to Declan Fyler, who's well tackled, holding the ball surely up higher. Yes, indeed. Well done by Corey Pertzell. Huge tackle. Pertzell yeah, goes back. Too. Yeah. Assesses his options. Slows the game down a little bit. Just keeping that sting out of the game. Pertzell. He's been called to play on now. He's been confronted by Fyland. The ball goes high. Nathan Blair flies. Great, Great mark by the skipper. Great comeback game too. So Blair on centre wing. Looking to put Romsey into attack. They are trying to slow the game down now. Take some of the minutes off the clock. Blair, long, down the line looking for Jed Wobby. He works his way to the front. Ball spoiled, comes down to Bullis. He gets it on the boot quickly towards centre-half forward. Great mark again. Sam Wilson. Yes, Huge. You've mentioned, we've mentioned him a couple of times in this quarter alone. Out to this man, Nathan Raymond. He has absolutely dominated this game of footy. Those two players, last two players, Wilson and Raymond, be 1-2, I reckon. Di Pietro goes inside 50. Jed Wobby's finally got a little bit of space from his opponent. And he's going to have the opportunity to go back and kick his second. Yeah, that's the only, it's probably only the second time today that Gray has let Jed Wobby off the chain. And that's just, that just shows how good this man is. When you give him one bit of space, he'll find it. Well, I don't know whether he's done what he did just then for much of the day, but he worked up the ground, took Gray yeah. out of the contest yeah. effectively yeah. and got him out the back. And, and uh, Paul and I were talking about that earlier. When he isn't getting the, the supply forward, he does bring himself into the contest and he can lose, either lose you through traffic or he can use his beautiful foot skills to create opportunities up forward for his teammates. So in comes Jack Jedwab right in front of us here. We've got the perfect view of this. The longest run up and set shot motion in the RDFL. If it works, it works. He's kicked 52 for the season. <laughs> Swinging back around to the left. Make that 53 for the season and two for today. Jack Jedwab. Beautiful sausage. And as I mentioned to Paul, if you kick like that wear those boots and spend all that money on those tattoos take as long as you want on the camera I reckon that's it, that's it. get some money back for your investment bit of me time yeah. nothing wrong with a bit of me time so that takes Romsey to 11 9 75 and that's that's the ball that's game, the ball too, game now 100% yeah Macedon 6 11 47 19 minutes 40 gone in the last quarter Gee, the influence of Nathan Raymond forward and in, in the middle has just been phenomenal he's, just, he's had the minus touch today everything he's touched has turned to absolute gold I was uh, yeah talking to the boys over there, uh, the Romsey boys over there before, and they said he's he's in as good a form as he's ever been. Yeah, yeah. I, I would think he'd be leading um, Romsey's best and fairest at the moment, and I said earlier that he'd be right up there in the Bowen medal, I reckon. Uh, as Macedon try to work the ball out, there's Hay, he feeds the handball out wide to Indian, who goes deep and long inside 50, and uh, pack flies. I think Cook almost took that. Ball's just come out the side. Macedon just not getting the momentum that they need as Romsey will get a clearing kick out towards half back and it's going to be spoiled over the boundary line for a throw in. Right in front of the scoreboard over there, which will give you a nice shot at the scores, 11-9 to 6-11. Yeah, and, and poor Matt Knox has, has pulled up very sore from that contest too. He was in front of it and got absolutely crunched. The ball comes in. Beautiful tackle there on, on, on Sims. Been paid to Corey Pertzell. Raymond has come off injured. I think he's got leather poisoning today, unfortunately, for him. It looks like he's uh, he's talking to the trainer around the groin area. Yeah. Looking I, a bit sore. He has a very awkward running and walking style, so you never know if he's sore or just how he walks. Comes down towards Matt Milburn, but it's intercepted well there by Zach Smedley. Smedley turns the ball back around, sends it forward looking for Johnston. Ball goes over his head. He tackled well by Braden Smiley, running in front of the Romsey fans, and they want the call. They're not going to get it, though. Great tackle there by Smiley. The 21 and a half minutes gone. Last quarter. Oh, they did They did get the call in the end. Crowd non, decision? Yeah, non-controlling umpire. I don't know, I looked away for a second. and So Smiley has the ball. Really slow play now. 
just wants to send it long down the line and sends it over the line, unfortunately. Out of bounds on the full in front of Jack Jadwab. So, Not a massive crowd again today. No, I no. I think the, the poor recent Romsey form is really playing into that. I, I was expecting to get here and it'd be right on, but no, it's a bit of a poor, poor crowd. Oh, Ball goes forward. Somehow comes to the ground. Rademacher picks up for Romsey, but everyone stopped. There's been a free kick called, has there? Yes, it's going to Kyle Braddon, I believe. Yeah, I think he pinged him for a throw ah. out, of that, out of the bottom of the pack there. He's got better eyesight than I have. So he chips it over, finds Nathan Blair in the left back pocket. He just plays on, jams down the line, looks for between Jack Jedwell and Addison. They two cats fly, they spoil each other. Jedwell gets the rove. Handball's intercepted by Smedley, sends the ball back to Indian, spins out of one tackle straight into another one. Great tackle by Di Pietro. Comes out via Wilson, his ball smothered. In goes Massad, he spins out of trouble. Gets a handball out to Wilson again, jams on the right boot. Joel De Haas is the only player for Romsey forward. Oh, takes it somehow, ball bounces to him in front of Blake. Gets the handball out, Nathan Bridgeland there to help out. Sends the ball back, Romsey's pressure. Oh, it's giving away silly there, because they were running to an open goal. Joel De Haas did all the hard work and just fell over right at the very end. Aaron Moram sends it out to Bridgeland. Bridgeland, right back pocket. Nope, call back. Oh, we were talking last week about the uh, famous names in the uh, Riddle team. Geez, romsey has got a few of those too, they don't they? They do, they certainly do. So in comes Zach Bags at centre half back. Gives a handball back to Hoyne. Hoyne chips forward to Smedley, but it's turned over to De Petro. De Petro sends it forward, looking for De Haas now. Can he get this one? Ball's out the back, he's able to trap it. And he's running into an open goal there. Joel De Haas, Romsey, put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, just um, just kept his feet, really. Um, in both of those contests, attacked the ball harder than his opponents. Yep. Um, put himself in a position to make sure that he was going to end up with it. So that is Romsey's 13th goal, I believe, for the day. Uh, no, 12th. 12-9-81. Leading Masson, 6-11-47. Uh, 20 three and three quarter minutes gone last quarter. Well, the Cats were teetering there. They were, they were playing with uh, being in the contest for a little while and we're now talking about whether or not they're <laughs> going to get blown out again. Yeah, so yeah, this is the problem with Macedon, isn't it? That when they, they have their laps, they really do laps. They threw everything they had at it and when when Jed Wobb kicked that, his second goal, it, it looks like it's sort of broken them a yeah, little bit now. Taking all the fuel out of the tank, hasn't it? The ball comes just trickling around by Little Petro. Somehow gets the ball forward, but it's interf interrupted by F Filan. There's been a free kick given to Filan for holding the man here. But Declan Filan swings around in that left boot, plays on from 55, just kicks it high up in the air. Cool. It's going to be a contest, and there's Jason Cook. He's another one like Jack Jed, what we mentioned earlier. Nate Fasari has been all over him, but the two or three times he's given him one metre, he's kicked two, about to have his third. So... You know, they're just star players are star players, aren't yeah, they? That's, yeah, and look, it's about the forwards that read the footy off the boot, right? And as Cook puts it straight through the middle, and that's his third late, late goal there for the Cats. But it's, those quality forwards can read that, that kick off the boot, and yeah. as that's the final siren. So 12 9 81, Romsey uh, 8 11. No, it, it's, so it hasn't seven. gone up, it'll be 9 11 53. Yeah. By the time they finish that, but uh, in the end, a pretty comprehensive window. The, yeah, to the, and it's uh, exact, exactly what they needed too, because yeah, you know, their, their season was in freefall there for a, a six-week period. You know, they got back on back on the on the winners list against Western Rams, um, and then last week, from all the reports, it, where it was a huge effort against would end at Gilbert Gordon Oval, going down by a point. Coming out today, they've done exactly what they needed to do. So. Um, we'll just quickly run through the goal kickers before we got to get off air quickly. Cook with three, Filan with one, Knox with one, Lockie Hay with one, and Sal Pietro with one for Macedon. Over to Romsey, one to Pertzel, two to Jed Wobb, one to Mitch Adamson, one to Burkett, one to Joel De Haas, and six to Nathan Raymond. Bog. Yep. Bog to, <laughs> Bog to Nathan Raymond. And look, Sam Wilson could not play any better than that, just yeah. he didn't kick six today. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's all from us today. We're going to quickly run off to Gilbert Gordon Oval and we'll off be we with go. you in an hour's time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. See